Oh dear. Oh no. Where are we? Oh, there, there I am. Alright, Moai jump scare. Moai jump scare. <laughs> People are muted. Somebody's muted, chat says. Who's muted? Miss Lala and Jesus have vanished from existence. You rang? Oh, hi, Jesus. Hi, Jupiter, Jesus. Oh, what's it down there? Oh, God. I don't even know who can hear who. <laughs> mm. Certified VTuber moment. Looks like they're saying that you're muted there, Doc. Large Doctor is silent. Oh, oh well. Chaos Baby. That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, Chaos Baby. <laughs> that really does! Maybe it sounds like the baby form of the Chaos Dragon. Yeah. It sounds like something that, that somebody would call... Yeah, no, they call like the, the, the baby Chaos Dragons. That's what they call them. Like fucking White Dragon, Wyvern Burster, and Black Dragon, Collapse Serpent. Yeah, that's what they call them. Is the baby, baby Chaos, chaos Dragon. Dragon. That sounds adorable. Yeah, it does. You know what is an ador adorable and end board of Borload Savage, uh, Heavenly Spheres, oh. and uh, Red Hot Dragon Archfiend Abyss, plus uh, Dragon Maid Titan. Yeah. That's not adorable. That, that's as, as as adorable as it is that they clean up the other board. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'd appreciate it if, if they, you know, kept their hands to themselves as they clean. Thank you very much. Yeah. Dragon Maids, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, stay in your lane, as they say. <laughs> Why are you being mean? It's because I'm British, oh, no. isn't uh, it? Apparently it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jason Bourne, it's me. Yeah. Oh, wait, I get it. That that took me a minute. They, they reverse it. It's like, Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then they flipped it. Oh, that's adorable. Jesus Bourne. <laughs> they, 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 you're the Dragonborn, but it's Jesus. You're Jesus' son. <laughs> You know, funnily enough, I've actually been playing- They can hear us, right? They can go. hear us, right? Finally, I have no longer been silenced. Yeah, he finally got the duct tape off his mouth. <laughs> so, How do you make a tape out of ducks? Uh, you'd be surprised. Like, like Florida, we can do anything. We can make bags out of alligators. Yeah, yeah you can make glue out of gorillas. Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't know if that's even ethical, but... Finally, all right, so... No, hello, no, hello, no, it hello, can't hello. be. The British are real. <laughs> Yes, the British are in fact real. Clockwork soul. Oh god! Oh god! I thought they were a myth! <laughs> I thought the British were a myth. <laughs> Hide me. It's true, the British are real, and they're living under your bed. Yeah, we're real and we're coming to take your stuff for our museums. <laughs> I mean, they do have a Moai in one of their museums. <laughs> Just try and it. Actually, it has a name too. It has, it's called uh, Hoa Hakananaya. Uh, it is made out of the salt it is about. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so hello, 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 my subjects. Welcome to the second ever open lab, and my god, sorry about the scuff there. Something about this mic every so often is just like, no, I'm gonna refuse officer. to exist. That's the person who's British unironically. Take them it just away. completely They'll never take me alive. What a tweener compression <laughs> day. <laughs> yeah, they'll never take me. Let's see. Florida is a wonderland? Oh dear. Why are we going to Florida? <laughs> where, where did Florida come into all of this? Oh, that's where Is we that are. where your lab is? Are, are you a Florida man? Yes, I am the British <laughs> mad science Florida man. Oh, that, Jesus that Christ, British life. and a Florida man, Florida man. I think that you no, need, to stop. need to be stopped. You need to be stopped. Oh no, now I'm too high up. Hang on. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. Yeah. So, as you can see, I've brought along some new guests to join us for the open lab. Uh, let's yes. uh, let's uh, introduce everybody, because uh, for a lot of you, this is your first time here. Yeah, well, I am the Moai of Knowledge, Internet Funny Man. I'm made of rock, I think. Um, bottom text. <laughs> <laughs> bottom text! <laughs> and so they realized they were both bottom text. <laughs> 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 
And uh, we also have Miss Lala right here as well. Hello! Uh, my name's Miss Lala. I'm a 1950s mm -hmm. waitress serving up fun in the 21st century. It is a pleasure to meet you. And thank you so much for having me. Hey, no worries. Someone had to bring the milkshakes to the yard. <laughs> and look all the boys that appeared. It seems like the science experiment. Excellent. Works. They will feed the gate as well. Well, 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 this is the control group. Like, what's the test group? <laughs> I mean, if you need the fate, gator or, are, are we using, like, like things fish. other than milkshakes, milkshakes to, like, attract boys? Is that what happened? Like, <laughs> yeah. this is, this is, we have to use the scientific process here, all right? We have to do this properly. <laughs> you gotta have the <laughs> hypothesis. You gotta do, the, yeah. you gotta do a couple of tries to see. So you right call now, yourself a mad scientist? Well, have you ever heard of a sane scientist? Yes. Uh, just yeah, scientist. Yes, actually, yeah. <laughs> and, and guess what? Well, those They're are called cool. mathematicians. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are math magicians. <laughs> ah, we also have a dog. Sorry, I let my toes out there for a minute. <laughs> who let, let the, the dogs, dogs out? out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who? 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 <laughs> what are you guys, a bunch of owls now? <laughs> We have a whole menagerie up in here. Well, ask me how many it takes to get to the center there. of a pizza pop. How many does it take you, Jesus? Speaking of which, you're here too, in your full form. You are no longer peanut at this time. Yes, I am no longer peanut. I am now big. I am at my full five feet, five inches height. <laughs> yeah, because everyone back then was shorter. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking, guys, but just know we were all shorter back then. <laughs> we honestly were. Yeah. <laughs> Can't all be six foot two giants like myself. And then there's me, who's technically 13 feet tall. Yeah, but you are wow. also built like a fucking house. I am the whole house. I was like, what's yeah. the weather like? Well, up they there? say the house always wins. They're talking about me. I am the house. Our house in the middle of our street. Our street in the middle of the house. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure if- Our if, house like, is gonna break concrete. I'm pretty sure, like, bullets would just deflect <laughs> off you. Just ping. Probably. <laughs> Probably depending on the caliber, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or he'd catch it. Yeah. No, I actually have the- This ring is actually a deflector disc. <laughs> it's your You're fault. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, the funny thing is, whenever somebody asks about the ring, I change the answer every time. <laughs> and sometimes it's not always intentional. Oh, I was going to say, I saw but, the but, ring, and I was yeah, like, was just you got good fish. service. You, you got good cable service, like a satellite yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there I thought it was just his version of Halo. Yeah, oh, something man. like that. Oh. Cue the Halo theme. <laughs> I can't do male choir. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad you could all make the trip down to the lab. How was the trip? Did you manage to get through the swamp okay? I think the swamp, swamp had to get through me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, man. Because we've, we've got right some in. of the worst natural defenses to, known to mankind. I mean, you've got the dangerous terrain, you've got the the dangerous wildlife like gators, but perhaps worst of all, country musicians. Oh God! No, they're, just, they're just hiding there in the bush, and then you just hear the banjo. Speaking of which, your dad says hi. No, my father plays a trumpet. Jeans, a red pickup. Yeah, they just come in with their pickup truck in the swamp and be like, "I need to sing a song about drinking beer." And I'm like, no! Get away from me! <laughs> I was a little Jesus worried. Jesus just teleported here, so... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I've yes. been here enough times that I unlock fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's just like, wow. the fast travel. And how about you, Lala? Did you enjoy the swamp trip here? Well, uh, you know, co coming on roller skates was necessarily not the best idea. I didn't expect maybe the amount of water on the way, so maybe uh, have a bit more of a squeaky, rusty way Oof. home. Man, <laughs> All the way back to I back can't to believe the city. Uber Eats makes you come I mean, I could skates. throw you back there. I could throw you back to the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, not the first like, time. Like, do like Mario 64, there. like spin you around like Bowser and just yeet you in, like <laughs> across the country. So that's your version of fast travel. You're just gonna make yeah. me travel fast. I know. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe I'm a little nervous. Uh, yeah, it's the mercenary towel version of fast travel. Yeah, mercenary towel. <laughs> oh lordy lord. 
Yeah, it was, uh, you know, quite the setup here. Very spacious, lovely home. Thanks for the tour. Thanks for Ah, uh, yes. The, the Florida the Everglades. Paint. Oh, I'm sorry? You could stand to clean up all this paint on the floor. You know, we're not sure if that's paint or various colors of blood. We're not sure. We haven't found it, found it wow, what it is yet. Some of it might oh, be on this. Oh, and green. The past collaborators. <laughs> Where have they gone? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> a little concerned well, now. Don't Brad worry, says you got yeeted to Japan. What is that about? Oh, yeah, that, there was a time in my in my pre-VTuber lore that I got punched so hard I ended up from here and landed at, at uh, Hero Academy. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. I'll have to show you that sometime. For the event. Uh, what Burn event? Shadow, thank you for becoming a subject. Day. Continuing for seven months. Well done. Round <laughs> of applause with all our hands that we can't clap. Like, I can, like, kinda, like, <laughs> ki kinda clap. Well, there we go. something. That's not <laughs> safe for you two. I can, I can, I can uh, clap. <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, what? I can't clap that. It's not big or juicy enough. I'd say what's the sound yeah. of one hand clapping, but that was clearly two. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you gotta two-hand that thing, you know? And Dandy Demon VT, thank you for becoming an experiment. Consider becoming a subject. <laughs> oh, man. Sounds so friendly. And then you're like, wait a minute. Just like, I'm wait a second. <laughs> wait a second, be, be a subject. <laughs> isn't this like the wheel a country song? Is that why his halo is gone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hang on, he might be able to manifest it. If we all clap our hands and believe. <laughs> well, I'm not hearing any hand clapping. Maybe the real clapping was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I was about to say getting the clap from the friends. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? I was like, wow. What Okay, I see what kind of land this is. Right? Sugar and spices, yeah. that's Paradise. not what doing really A very experimental, I see. Well, we know all about that here in the lab. All sorts of chaos breaks. About what? Here. About, you know, experimenting. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. What did you think? <laughs> uh, I'm just checking, I'm just making sure. Making sure. <laughs> You're trying to catch me doing something weird, aren't you? Well, yeah, jokes catch on you. With you. Everything down I do is nice. That guy is doing something weird? I could never. never. Yeah, that, 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 that would be just preposterous. That would How could that be? As far avoided. as the police know, that is exactly what I'm doing. Nothing weird. Yeah, the police Florida. don't yeah. Even have to know anything. Yeah, La Vida. Hey, 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 girl. How you doing? I see you there in chat. Welcome. <laughs> Who's here? Uh, La, La Bandida. Ban La Bandida Rosa. I see. I don't think uh, I'm acquainted. But a fellow no, card game enthusiast, much like many of us. Oh, here. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Immediately, <laughs> my friend, now. Yeah. You hear that, La Bandida? Moai says you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> And he is the Moai of knowledge, so he's, he must be right. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well, you're not we're the Moai a lot of, of so We're making a lot of assumptions here about what knowledge means. <laughs> That's right. There's I many a lot types of assumptions. Of there's I, I intelligence, do feel like there's wisdom. I was going to say, I'm knowledge intelligent. Fall on the stat block, then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, look at the IQ level here. We got Moai of knowledge, we got a scientist, and we got Jesus. So, a uh, little intimidated yeah. by the... Uh, and we got Miss Lola. Oh, knowledge... Bold to I assume that to... this brain is not silky smooth up here. <laughs> oh, come on, Doc. You've at least done a surgery. I mean, you got to be somewhat intelligent to do that. On a grape. But you still admit you did it. <laughs> With a doctorate that I did not because, steal. Oh, no, he's hot. Like, in the chat, it's like, <laughs> okay, Squidward, try to imagine him in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Wait, this is the underwear toggle. Ah! Oh, there we go. Oh my. Ooh. Yes. Oh my. There, there we go. Yellow. I have yet to master the power of, like, disapparating my clothes. Yeah, just evaporating <laughs> them. Once again, trying with the milkshake in the yard to see if maybe also that could disapparate the clothes. Was <laughs> uh, experiment. Well, when you know the actual meaning of that song, that becomes even funnier. Oh no. You know, I've never actually sat down and thought about it. What does it mean? It, it means exactly what you think it means. It means titties. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, The what? milkshakes are referring to boobs and it brings all the boys together. You know what? I it's thought very that straight, was it's very straightforward. What? 
What that's kind of what that's called. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What is happening? I can't run an establishment with that kind of what what wait a minute. Right, did you well, not I, know? Did right, <laughs> you not know? Human... Hold on. Okay, hold on. I got okay. I can't I can't be putting okay. this to my lips. My knowledge right of the human anatomy yeah. is correct. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Get this out of here. I was gonna say I thought it was something like that, but then I was like, but what if it's a more subtle name? It turns out no. No, absolutely not. It is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> I do have milk myself, though. Oh, God, I hate that. Yes. <laughs> because if I remember correctly, milk is stored in the breast, it yeah. is stored in the balls. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Lala, Lala has become a grown adult today. <laughs> I like it! I love it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I trust it! Oh no! My world crushed in minutes. You will never seconds. watch MTV yes. the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the rest of us when Clone High ended. <laughs> oh yeah, unfortunate that that ended. Well, Nothing well, bad well, ever well, happens well, to the well, Kennedys, well. and then he immediately crashes. <laughs> now, now, don't they also have that new part of the? Film yeah, that's the funny seen, thing. I've that's the, the funny leaks. thing about the it's um, so good. the uh. The nothing bad ever happens can because like almost everyone in that family had like a tragedy struck them. Oh, JFK yeah. got shot. His brother, I think, he got shot like a couple I, weeks later. Yeah, and then I think like one of them else had like died of a disease or something. I don't remember, but like everyone in that family just got completely fucked up. Yep, and even people like closely related to him, like everyone says the Marilyn Monroe conspiracy, all that bullshit. Yeah, I don't know if, if I JFK believe it myself. JFK Jr. died in a plane crash. Oh my god, what were they eating that day? Sounds like they yeah. all got really sick. Well, I don't know what's going on with that family. They ordered the special. <laughs> yeah, he got, like, what if JFK's head just did that, you know? Oof. What if there was no gunman? What if his head just did that? It's like a Vignon toggle or whatever. Just yeah. Kind of... Oh no. <laughs> This is terrible, terrible. Just fucking terrible, those terrible. scanners. <laughs> These are dark you know jokes we're going into. <laughs> we'll you know what? <laughs> Maybe he actually upset Magneto. Oh god. Perhaps. Magneto was in the crowd. No, no. It just gets worse. <laughs> you, you know, the funny thing is, that's probably like, so, like, there's probably like a Marvel comic about JFK's assassination oh, and God. how it's actually related to like Marvel. There's probably, that probably exists somewhere. Oh, with, the I, it's Marvel or with the amount of times Marvel dips their toe into like real world parallels. Oh, to yeah. Varying absolutely. degrees of success. Yeah. Ugh, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh lord, it yeah. lord. Like fucking. Wasn't JFK a mutant in the X-Men movies? I don't know. I did, the, the, the idea I don't of that frightens me. What was his mutant ability? His head exploding? Oh no. <laughs> oh god, we're terrible. We are this is a Yeah. You know, I didn't know we're I didn't horrible, think horrible this is where people. it was gonna go tonight, but here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> making jokes about the JFK assassination. So yeah, <laughs> apparently yeah, that actually did happen in one of the X Men movies. He oh, was God. a mutant with the ability to like telepathically communicate with people and persuade them. Oh, I oh, see. God. Interesting. Oh God. Well. Ah uh, no, do wow. do not like that. <laughs> oh no. Man, <laughs> do, does Marvel know no sanctity? Let's see. Uh, I mean, hey, can you tell Lala she still owes me for that pineapple pizza I bought her the other night? You put you bought pineapple pizza. What did they do to you? What? Oh, how did they no. hurt you? What? Wait, wait a minute. No, we're not talking about this. You, 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 uh, you know, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna back right, away what, here. We're not, we're <laughs> not gonna talk about this. That's a, you know, that's pineapple a pizza. Well, no, no, we don't talk about this. All right, no, we. No, this is very <laughs> pish. I'm I'm a guest here. I'm not about to go on a on a pineapple on pizza. <laughs> you want to explain? I think if you say it a third time, they might they might mold out. Yeah, I'm like Be Beetlejuice might appear if you say it a third time. <laughs> it doesn't belong on pizza, okay? It doesn't belong on pizza. That is the correct take. Have... Okay, we're on the same okay. page. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, the same. Good. Good. Yeah, we're good. It's, like a, it's, a, it's a New York City hate crime to put pineapple on pizza, all right? That's, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's fine. Listen, okay. JFK assassination life. jokes are a okay, but pineapple on pizza is where we draw the line here. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? We have standards here. This is a safe space. We are we are saints of comedy in this house. Yes. I'm sorry, you guys are what now? I um, mean, 
you know, you know I just realized what I said. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Violence is never a solution. It's a <laughs> question, just and the answer is yes. Staring dead in the <laughs> Well, be careful. There might be thousands of eyes staring back. Oh dear. Is, is, is that is that from the radiation? Is no, it's from the eldritch those? magic. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, you know, word to the wise. Well, I mean, radiation, eldritch magic, same thing. <laughs> yep. That's always the cop out whenever there's a mutant. It's like, oh, it was radiation, I guess. <laughs> like that's that's always what it is. Oh, indigestion? Man. It was the radiation. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> it was the leeches. <laughs> it was the leeches. Oh, boy. Cheese pizza is the best pizza. Why Why mess with perfection by adding crap? I disagree with that take. I disagree with that take. As a cheese pizza lover, I think that there are pros and cons to adding toppings. Yeah, I, it, it really does depend. Because the thing is... First of all, adding top topics objectively gives you more food to eat, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And also, I think there are toppings like I, I personally like a lot of meat on my pizzas. Like, oh, yeah, I like okay. sausage. I like pepperoni. Are I think those are perfectly good toppings. Those are fabulous toppings. Who said pineapple right. and pepperoni? Druid noodles said pineapple and pepperoni bets pizza. Oh god, that sounds awful, actually. It wow. depends on who the hurt, who hurt you? Who yeah, hurt you? Yeah, Druid, are, are you Wait, okay? Druid, are, <laughs> blink twice, Druid. Blink twice if you're being held hostage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Marin, uh, you walked in onto Pineapple Pizza Talk, and you always know where that goes. Yeah. That the You know, people say Mario Party is the friendship ruiner, but no, it's the pineapple pizza argument. That's yeah, it's, it's like, Monopoly. like the pineapple pizza becomes like the Salem witch trials. Like, if you've ever had pineapple pizza once, you have to be put to death. <laughs> it's absolutely a litmus test. It's like, yeah. you know, uh, are you crying? Are you a sane human are being? Are you normal? <laughs> Maybe that's why the Romans tried to kill me. Like, the actual... They were providers of pineapple pizza. They oh, were. Oh. You were, you were here to spread the truth, and they wanted to silence you. <laughs> they were trying to per perpetuate pineapple on pizza back in those times, and you spoke against that, and that's why they crucified you. Yeah, the fucking Ready, yeah. It was not to die for our sins, it was to die so that pineapple on pizza may be condemned forever in the future. Yeah, the Romans made in Italy, so there's a chance that might have actually been the this case. This is the true lore of the Bible that the FBI doesn't want you to know. <laughs> specifically the FBI. Yeah, specifically them. Yeah. They, they always hide the secrets. They're always hiding something. <laughs> uh, now, now, pineapple for me is just a weird thing to eat cooked because it has this weird texture. And I don't like the idea of savory food also being sweet. It's like weird. Exactly. Exactly. And like, I, I hear people talk about the whole ten taste sensation of umami. And I'm like, I know. I don't. I do not like. No. It's like yeah, salted it's caramel as well. I can't stand that. I guess, yeah, yeah it, it's, I, I don't mind contrast and flavors, but it's a texture thing with me when it comes to the pineapple on the pizza. Cause you know, like cheese is already like, kind of like a, you know, when you bite mm -hmm. into it and then you got the, the, the chunky fruit. Yeah, when cheese, you feel, when you bite like, a pizza and something like a weird fruit gusher is on it, it's like, no. Yeah. Yeah, fruit know, gushers, I, do, do you mean like ticks in the woods? <laughs> Those are great fruit gushers. <laughs> Just completely lose oh. all viewership as soon as I put that thought in your head. Nah, do you know what oh the weird God. thing is? The weird thing is there probably are pizzas with actual fruit gushers. Have you guys ever seen a Brazilian pizza? No. Well, it's from Brazil. Of course it's going to be weird. A Brazil pe Brazilian pizzas, if you just Google them right now, they what, have Brazil some Brazil is a nightmare scape. They will put M&Ms, they will put cotton candy, they'll even put a bottle of tequila. Not even like pour it out, they'll just put the bottle on the pizza. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take they it will, those, you actually. You have to eat the Thank glass, you, you have to eat the glass. <laughs> you I even, that that's a complimentary part of it. I have I, seen one that had like boiled egg slices on it, and I even saw one that had a spare tire. Oh, wonderful. It sounds like a joke, but this is Brazil. Thank you, nurse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guantanamo Bay, no, that's good for you. That's good for you. You're going to Brazil. <laughs> You're going to the Brazil pit. I actually have that installed in here somewhere. <laughs> How about Panama? That's what, that's what the Brazilian government uses is to torture their um, prisoners of war. They use Brazilian pizza. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> they will just the, literally you... throw anything on a pizza. It's insane. Yeah. Oh, my they tried God. to put me on a pizza once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
I just think, oh, if my teeth. Then I woke up and then they that. they were very sorry for it. Oh, you know what? They they you ought to like fucking get like an all of your little disc there and put a pizza yeah. behind you now. <laughs> oh man, that would be a great like alternate outfit is like a chef with like a pizza floating behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god! Amazing. Change my little hat to like, change my little hat to like a chef hat, you know? No, here's oh what you do. God. You make your hat look like a Pizza Hut roof. Oh my god! Oh. Somebody, oh my artists god. in chat, artists in chat, artists yeah. in chat, if there's any artists in chat, please draw this. <laughs> Illustrate this. Illustrate me as like a chef with like the Pizza Hut hat and like a giant pizza behind me. <laughs> oh man, there, there, there probably is quite happen. a few artists in my chat. <laughs> I mean, the artists are everywhere in the VTube community, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yeah. Like that that's yeah. like most of what I do here. No they're, they're like insects, you know, like you lift up a rock and like thirty of them crawl out. <laughs> no no no. That, that's, hey? that's bad. That's graphic effect art. Graphic effects artists in your DMs. Oh that, that's true. Oh. Excuse me, yeah. I'm a gra I am a GFX artist, excuse you. <laughs> Is it you in my DMs? <laughs> yeah. You know the ones. You know the ones. You I'm the only real one. I'm the only real one. <laughs> Freya, Mari, you start all your DMs with like, I swear I'm real. Here's my face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you I'm a human so being. Hard. You're trying to search for them and you're trying to like, you end up typing some sort of Eldritch script as a tweet and sort of, I just yeah. want a really cute, chippy commission, but you have to write like a tome of Eldritch script. Yeah. So, like, they don't come sliding into your DMs, no. get emails. They come outside of your house. You start knocking on your window and you're like, hold on. Wait a minute! I didn't want this. I didn't sign up for this. Wait a minute! Oh no! I didn't ask for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> and they're like, "My name's definitely Rebecca, and I definitely have thirty-six different art styles. Please trust me." Yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> so <laughs> Sophia <laughs> says the pizza he man eat it. <laughs> pizza he man eat it, he man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am not nice, and I am not cute. Oh, that skeleton is a fucking puppy legend. Puppy dog. <laughs> that, that's one of my favorite. I am not nice, and I am not cute. Now, what's the one that it, where, he's, where it was someone edited to be like, then you're probably not very good at sex. <laughs> then you're probably not very good at sex, he man. <laughs> I, Skeletor, have all the riz. <laughs> I get all the bitches because I've got the bones. <laughs> and they called me Bone Daddy, He Man. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Skeletor is like jacked as shit. Yes, you know? he is. Yeah. He probably does have the bone down there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, come on. I mean, Skeletor is absolutely. He's packing a magic wand down there. Oh, come on. Absolutely. You know, back I in the early 2000s, funny. they actually made a remake of the oh, He Man wow. franchise, and Skeletor, before he lost his face, not that bad looking. Yeah. Hang on, before it like melted off or whatever. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Titty is no longer distracting me. <laughs> um, to be fair, I understand why it would distract. <laughs> yeah. The, the funny thing about like He-Man toys is like just the reason for half their character designs is that they just wanted to save on molds. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. So Skeletor only has flesh because they didn't want to have to fucking make another mold. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's also why all the women look identical as well. Oh, and have the yeah, vendors too. Yeah. And all the classic toys. Yeah, so true. That makes sense. Yep. I mean, that Hasbro sense. cutting costs. When would they do that ever? <laughs> nervously sweats. <laughs> yeah. When would they ever do the that? the gathering player nervously sweats. <laughs> One thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> nervously sweats. <laughs> oh, and it's like somebody who doesn't really pay attention to magic, but I heard about that. I'm like. The fact that they're proxies as well is just the most insane thing to me. Oh, yeah. With that, like, whole, like, anniversary set, like, oh, listen, boy. Konami doesn't do Yu-Gi-Oh! players any favors, but, like, what we get is at least, like, cert like, at least, like, functional product, you know? Yeah. We get, like, real cards in our anniversary product. Oh, no, no. No, we definitely, as a community, love paying lots of money for fake shit. It's our favorite yeah. thing. Please. Hasbro, thank you so much. We are so grateful. Thank you. I Please don't shut us down. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you in the audience who couldn't understand that, that was sarcasm. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God. Sarcasm on my show? <laughs> Never. Yeah, when would that ever happen? <laughs> I think that was... Was that it again? 
Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is getting reissues of of like old packs for MSRP this year, so. <laughs> oh. Nope, could be us. The one Hold thing on. though, the one thing I will say about that though is that they kind of missed the mark not releasing more of the original packs cuz there's a lot of cards that do not have good reprints right now. Uh, no. Like, for older formats, I think one of the big ones right now is Delinquent Duo. That has not had a good reprint in years, and that th that card is, like, still... It's super necessary for, like, GOAT format, for example, and it is not cheap. I kind of Even though, like, off... every other card in GOAT is, like, very budget, pretty much. I kind of fell off, like, the whole, like, uh, the competitive angle for it. Like, I even un yeah. uninstalled Master Duel a while back, because I was just, like, not winning. I keep yeah. up with like new cop releases and I'm like, ooh, that card looks yeah. pretty. But I have yeah. no idea what's going on in like the actual like rarity circles or anything. I, yeah. I just know it's bonkers always. Yep. There's always something happening. Mm hmm. Like, I can't walk into a target without seeing some sort of chaos happen over the card set. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys like dueling for the fate of the world in like the card aisle. <laughs> <laughs> That's Throwing what I dead. want to see an anime about, is people just a re just, just a regular Tuesday. Out. Yeah, I have to agree. That would actually be pretty funny to see in a Yu-Gi-Oh! arc, like, people fighting over the card expansion packs because they want to try no, to save the that's, world. No, that's the thing, though, is that <laughs> in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, we, like, never see where they get the fucking cards from. We see they just, it once. Everyone just, like, magic. it just magically happens, and then, like, they once explain it, and that was only one time, and then never again. Yeah, they only did it one time, and that was when you got Yugi got light full soul where he was like, No, I know there was that time and there was packs. one time in GX as well. Oh fuck. Yeah, they did it once in GX as well, and like that was like give even me, that like didn't fully explain shit. Give yeah, me wait, a wait, card wait. game anime that is written like a sports anime. Give me the blue yeah. lock card game. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, where's our filler episodes where they're just spending <laughs> hours at the card store trying to trade in their old things, trying to get new ones and be like, maybe this one, maybe if I negotiate this. You have a nice foil, what about you? Oh, how you doing, Barry? How's your family? How's your kids? By the way, did you see the new starter pack? What do you crack bags? It's great. I want that filler episode. What's that one? Or sometimes they just get like a part-time job so they can get the money to actually buy the booster packs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where's the grind in that? You just got these kids who are like, yeah, we have endless supply of all these rare cards that we can play. It's like, what are your parents doing? What are you doing? How are you affording this? What's the, the dark side? Oh. Are they affording it? Are they affording it? <laughs> or, are they, or are they just like stealing? Is Yugi <laughs> Mojo true. in crippling debt? <laughs> oh no, no, you got like, money from the three hour season. video essay on why Yugi Moto is in crippling debt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, like, yeah. like, just complete, like, nonsense, like, pulling shit out of their ass. Like, in this episode, he said this about this, so that must be this and this, and, like, it means absolutely none of that. God, I'm now gonna wait for the fucking Pathy Matrix video on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh god. Who's Matthew Here's Patrick? how much money Yugi Moto spends on his entire day. I draw and play Dark Magician Girl, but now I have a gun. <laughs> Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this gun allows me to make you forfeit the duel or I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, I'll send you to the Shadow Realm. You just won't wake up from it ever again. <laughs> well, no, Shadow Realm cards, is uh, four kids go for death. <laughs> if, again, if you don't know, the Shadow Realm doesn't exist. That was literally made up by four kids to censor death. Which I'm yeah. not gonna lie, at least it's actually a pretty cool, interesting yeah. way of putting it. Yeah, but then they had to like get really fucking creative at points. It's yeah, like, this skyscraper actually has a portal to the shadow dimension. That one was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the glowing energy dark death. magician Glock. It's and like they, when your parents tell you really like they were really inconsistent. No, it's like you have magician that. rod, you have magician robes, you have magician souls, and now you have magician's Glock. <laughs> <laughs> But no. I was gonna say, like, the Shadow Realm is like, when your parents tell you, it's like, oh, you know, Santa's real, all this stuff, and then they have to, like, come to terms with, like, the reality of it. It's like, Santa's not, how are we gonna do this? You know, and Konami's like, now we gotta create this whole thing <laughs> about like, the Shadow Realm. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, it was really inconsistent with it as well. Like, uh, remember that time that Yugi and Joe and Possessed Joey almost fucking drowned? Yeah. Yeah. they were literally fucking chained. There weren't no fucking Shadow Realm there. They were just gonna die. Yeah, they were literally going to die. <laughs> Washed away. This the ocean shade. is the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> Just this <Washed> point. Away. <laughs> yeah. Washed away by the waves of the shadow realm. Yeah. <laughs> 
But uh, we we can give shit to like original era Yu-Gi-Oh like till the cows come up. But I still yeah. think that's my favorite season. Well, my I original era, do you mean season one or season zero? I personally believe that 5Ds is the best that Yu-Gi-Oh has been. Oh yeah, life. 5Ds has amazing world building up until the dudes in shower curtains show up. Even then, though, the thing is with 5Ds though is it tackles a lot of issues that like are very like real. Oh yeah, like it, it tackles like like the socio-economic like issues of like classism and like yep. the division of that. Like it it's very very like real like world issues. Oh that yeah, I really goes like over, that. and I like, think that that's what makes Five Ds so good. Yeah, it's is just that like the, the characters second... feel real with like actual motivation. Also, they're adults, by the way. Yeah, they are. That's important. It's just the second that the fucking bad guys that time travel back in time shot, then it just becomes yeah. oh god. Like, yeah, all that complexity just goes out the window. Even though, even then though, there's so much like good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Like, like the Aesir fights; those were really great. Oh, Zushin yeah. was also an amazing moment. <laughs> there's a lot of really good stuff in Five Ds that I think people sleep on. Mm. I just don't think the villains were anywhere near as good. Yeah, and also Stardust Dragon is like probably one of the best ace monsters if you don't count pre erata Firewall. <laughs> well, <laughs> we don't talk about pre. We we don't we don't things. we don't talk about pre erata Firewall. Oof, that's the forbidden. That's the real forbidden one right there. The only time a, a main character's card was ever banned in the real world. <laughs> yeah, and like they they tried to avoid banning it for as long as possible. Like, no, no, it's fine. It can stay legal. It could stay legal as it's like holding a gun to like the CEO's head, and it's like, all right, we have to. It's like after like there's like a YC. Okay, I I think I actually remember the story behind this is um at a YCS right, there was somebody there like Konami employees who were like you know playing against players there, and somebody like walked up. I think it was like like one of like the bigger players. They walked up and they firewall FTK the Konami employee, and then two weeks later the ban list came out and firewall was banned. Oh no. <laughs> No, by firewall, like, do you mean the archetype or do you mean the actual trap card? The, no, the firewall dragon. dragon. Firewall dragon. Yeah, okay. it was the ace monster of uh, what was it? Yusaku. Yeah, V Reigns anime. Yeah, yeah, it was Yusaku or Playmaker. Because <laughs> oh. they had like like the whole because it's like this is my online avatar Playmaker. They See, have like that whole shtick. We joke about that, but um. What are we doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? We're just muffins. <laughs> the VTuber anime. <laughs> we were the V Reigns all along. Yeah. <laughs> it even begins with V, fuck. <laughs> yeah. VTuber, V Reigns, I, I think we all know where this is going. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, playing card it's games wonderful... as, our, as our anime personas, who would do yeah. such a thing? Looks at camera. Card games on VTube Studio. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not anyone in this call. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be me? Could it be me? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, did I expect? I did breathe. I expect to choose? Yeah, it's like, did I expect to choose the TT? Uh, you know, the tabletop card game life. I didn't choose me. <laughs> Looks into the sunset, really wistfully. And immediately regrets so much panic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I immediately, like, not long after, remember why I, I give it up every yeah. time. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> I mean, I played competitively for many, many, many years. I think I started playing competitively in 2014, so it's almost 10 years for me now. Um, yeah, it it, it it has its ups and downs. There are formats that are really, really good to, like, play in. Like I said, you just have to, like, play decks that are able to keep up with the format and like the formats that are good yeah I've been, like there was I've a format like right before format. like before tier limit came out and before like sprite came out like that was a really really good format where it's like there was a lot of viable decks mm-hmm because like my favorite decks right now are things like the machina deck uh the, well, the machina is good though deck. oh yeah I'm machina saying, is good i'm just saying the decks i play are not like tier zero i know i know junk also plays uh mach machine machina <laughs> Earth machine pile. <laughs> uh, let's see, but I'm also like a big fan of the uh, what's the what's the one where they go into uh, the machines that are in defense. Super heavy. That's the one. I like those. Yeah, ones too. Super, yeah. Like super those are actually uh, going to be good now machine. too, as well with their new support. Actually, yeah. they're getting a really good pendulum monster. That's insane. <laughs> Indeed. 
So you know, Machine, I... have you guys watched The Legend of Vox Machina? No, I have not. Uh, I have. Uh, I've seen the first season, but I've not seen the second yet. Second uh, season's was so isn't, good. isn't like that, isn't that show just basically like somebody's D&D campaign yeah, that they wrote is... to like... It's yeah, a, to like give a you the, yeah, show. Critical role. Yeah. yeah, to give you the elevator pitch version, it is Matt Mercer and his and his voiceover buddies. So you got like Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey, Ashley Johnson, all and, like pretty big like names in like the v VA circles. Doesn't Matt Matt Mercer voice like literally everything ever? More or less at this point now. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's so crazy, because, uh, you know, I remember Matt Mercer back in when he first started cosplaying in a, a million years ago. Yeah. And, like, and he was like a... Well, I think the reason why he's hired so much is because he's not union. Mm -hmm. that could that, be that, that's part of that's part of the thing is I don't think he's part of the union so like he's like okay we'll hire you <laughs> and like that that's kind of a selling point is that because he's not union they, they like companies are more willing to hire them because working with unions for companies like that is uh is rough I think Com for companies hate unions especially. Yeah, I'm for, like, for the voice actors unions are good but for the companies it sucks yeah like okay. yeah because I feel like like in, in film production in general when it comes to like Usually, crew is like, usually it's it's union production, standard yeah. across the board. But then when you have like, I notice the difference when it comes to performance, whether it's live action, like regular mm -hmm. actors, voice actors, all that stuff. I feel like that conversation is like, you see it so much more often that you have people working a lot more non-union first. And it's like really interesting because it's not the same across the board. Oof, but yeah. Um, yeah, which is I can crazy. Imagine. See, there's Jotaro, Hit, Krom, Yusuke, Cassidy. Yeah, there's like so many like big characters that just Matt Mercer mm -hmm. voices. Yep. So he's like so like, like he did oh. Levi and Attack on Titan too, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So wait, uh, which Yusuke? There's a lot of Yusukes in the anime. I world. think it's Yus <laughs> the one who goes. You, you, no, wait, that's a different one. Mm. Yeah. Cool bar is the one that goes. Yusuke, you're a mission. I'm gonna kick your ass. You know who else can beat those Power Rangers? My mom. You know who wow. else can beat the Power Rangers? My mom! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so imagine Matt Mercer DMing a game for his VA buddies, and then, yeah. like, ten years later, it's being adapted into a fucking, like, actual full Interesting. Animation. Which it's was great. kickstarted, by the way. It and was, it, and a it was funded in, like, campaign. ten minutes. Like, over. Yeah, yeah, if they're crazy. not kick voice actors, that'd be kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> and from the looks of it, according to Lasgar Lockman, uh, Mighty Nine, their second campaign, is also getting an animated series as well. Yeah, they just announced Ooh. that, too. It, like, oh, interesting. As far as like a teaser, it's literally just they showed the script on the table. That's about all you're getting teaser-wise. Oh, but that's But so it cool. proves that it's, it's happening, which is great. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah something's yeah, happening. That you, that you can mm -hmm. take that and like really develop it into something like that. Like how encouraging. I think that's so amazing. Yep. That gives me hope for Dr. Crafty, the movie. Yeah! <laughs> Dr. Crafty, the movie? I've thought about it. I legit have. Because, um... I am from the era of the internet where uh, internet critics were making movies of themselves, aka the Nostalgia Critic, aka Minkara, yep. who I used to work for. It was like, for. oh, if, if, if you criticize movies so much, why did you make one yourself? We did, and it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So never make movies again. Awesome uh, Because, yeah, I was, I was, that's where I got my start in, like, uh, content creation was helping out other critics with, like, their thumbnail art and so on. I did it for Linkara for like 10 years, like oh, like just over 10 years in fact. But then when I started doing this more, I was like, you know what, I'm going to build my own identity. And thus I am here. <laughs> and you have such a wonderful cast of characters within the Dr. Crafty lore. That, I feel like that'd be easy peasy in terms of developing that. You know, oh, you yeah. already got, you did all the groundwork essentially. The funny thing is, is like basically the, re the main reason the show had to stop was because all my VAs started getting hired by actual companies. <laughs> Like, uh, mm. Nurse vs. VA actually works for Funimation now. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm really happy that they're all that they've all moved on to bigger, better pastures. Yeah, they, they get actual financial stability. <laughs> That's yeah. I mean, I paid them and everything. I just I don't make a lot of money doing this before I start on Twitch. Yeah. YouTube pays like spittance. Mm, no, it, it's mm, it, yeah. the grind. The grind is real. There, there ain't no two ways about it. The grind uh, is yeah. real, for sure. Indeed. 
<laughs> oh, I like this. Dr. Crafty, the movie starring Steve Buscemi is crafty. How do you feel about that cast? First off, uh, that I... sounds like uh, his bank account is going to disappear very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> First off, I would be played by For Christopher one second Walken. of screen time. For one second of screen time. <laughs> the rest of it has is... to be CGI'd. Yeah, oh, yes, Lord. we have to CGI in Christopher Walken. Oh, no. and even, that, even then, we're going to have to pay royalties because of likeness. <laughs> Nah, I like to think he would just accidentally walk on the set and just like yeah. act it out. What do you mean? This is and, and then you'd still, and then, and then you still have to pay him anyway. <laughs> just like, what, what would what would be a dream casting for you, Crafty? Who would you imagine hmm. portraying someone who could be a carry of majestic? Well, can anyone guess what my dream casting would be for myself? Jason the Momoa, Rock. Van Diesel. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I was oh, gonna fuck. say I was like a, I was like a rock. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You look more like a Vin Diesel. You got that chin. You know what they got. No, going. but no, but you have to do Dwayne the Rock Johnson just because it, I get it, just, it just works. I it do get Dwayne just the Rock. <laughs> In the longest words Dwayne of Todd Howard, it just works. Nope. <laughs> yeah, he does look like a little bit of a Geo dude. <laughs> yeah. A Geo dude. <laughs> oh no. Geo dude. Geo dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Geodude's mega evolution. <laughs> yeah. His evolution with whey protein as well. Just oh, like no. the This is the yeah. Moai here is what happens when a probobass takes all the fucking vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probobass mega evolution. <laughs> Just sprouts a whole ass body. Geodude if he was a Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not wrong. Fighting Fuck type it. regional Probo Bass. Fuck it, I've actually been like <laughs> just That's going catching off back with this. up. I've only just been catching back up with what Digimon's been doing as a franchise. And like, what the what fuck is doing? Ghost Game? Oh, Ghost Wait, Game? That what? is like, it's like a kid's horror show. It's good, Yeah, which is good, weird. But, but it's not like, that weird. It's because it's still Probo Digimon. Probo Bass plus my joke. Like, ugh. Part of it is also to sell their new wristband, which wristwatch things, the uh, vital bracelet. Yeah, also, fun fact, the actual name of Easter Island uh, indigenously is Rapa Nui. Wait, hold on. Is that yeah. where they lift all the Bionicle lore from? No, that's different. That's different. That's that's Maori. That, that is more <laughs> closer to Australia and the Pacific Islands. Oh, okay. Although, to know that you are a Bionicle fan... Dude, I was there oh. when Mask of Light was coming out in theaters, my guy. Oh, my, bro oh. my brother's online username is still shit. Why haven't we hung out more yet? What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Gathered brother's friends. my shadow warrior. I've learned through association about the wonderful world of Bionicle. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get anything Bionicle until around 2010. Oh yeah, that was like oh. when it was pet when that it was. was that's when out. it literally died. Yeah. Yeah, that's when it went to heaven. They, they, they just <laughs> brought it back as well. <laughs> like, aren't they doing like new Lego sets with it? Oh well, what they did recently is they're doing a gift with purchase. So if you buy so uh, so and so much at like a Lego store or on the Lego shop, they give you like a Bionicle set as like a gift with your purchase. Ah, uh, yeah, because I've been seeing like uh, things online yeah. of like uh, yeah, like, yeah, that's what that is. God. Yeah, that's what that is. It's so it's not a, not a full comeback or anything. Oh right? god, I fucking wish. I wish. Now, we are getting so Although maybe they're shows. testing the waters. Maybe they're testing the waters. Please. I would like. They that, could actually. be. <laughs> because the thing is, it's the um how they did it is that the set isn't built with like traditional bionicle parts. What they did it with it no. now is just they just they, they use Lego pieces. Yeah, it's just straight up Lego pieces, but it works oh. really well. It is very well constructed. Yeah. And I think if they did a whole line of sets like that, I think it would do well. They yeah. just have to market it well and not flop it like they did in 2016 because they brought it back like for a year in 2015 2016 and it flopped because they didn't market it at all i mean it probably doesn't help the toys r us was on its way out too yeah they could be a bit, a bit of an issue too yeah yep, yep, yep. oh I, I used to the like lego movie free starring free crafty free instead of emmett <laughs> love that love that the vtuber movie <laughs> They look sh <laughs> shitty compared to the original Bionicle. I mean, yes, that's fair, but again, I'll take concessions where I can get them. Yep. Because it shows that they at least care about the IP and want to try something with it, and yeah. that is more than I could ask for. Exactly. Yeah, I do like, I do like the re-emergence of like Lego kind of coming into pop culture. Like, has anybody watched that? What is it, Lego Masters? Super yeah, wholesome Masters, reality no. competition. 
it's a super wholesome competition show where it's like teams of two and they get to do all these different Lego sculptures and like it's everyone like cheers each other on and everyone's really creative and it's really fantastic and you get really oh I've, 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 I've seen so I, I think I've seen a clip of that where they build something and then it just shatters right at the end oh no, no. it's so oh, no. heartbreaking it's like you feel it you start crying for them because and everyone on the show like even the judge like it's so wholesome because everyone like honestly like just loves lego yeah and everyone's like in awe of each other so like when things like that happen like people like you, yeah. everyone's like no come on you can do it you can do it like it's really really cool but uh, yeah. I'm just so surprised, like just like the capabilities, you know. Yeah. I, you know, of Lego, it's amazing. So I love that. I love that yeah. show. I hope there's another. I I just love that Lego has like actually been doing like original sets again in these last few years because there was a time for a while where it was just all movies. Like, it was oh, all licensed, yeah. 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 The, 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 the thing is, they're trying to like figure out how to make um original themes again. Like Monkey Kid, I think, is seeing a lot of success. Like Ninjago has been going on yeah. for yeah. fucking over a decade now at this point, mm -hmm. and like that, and like they're really kind of banking on that. But again, like I said, it's like they're trying to figure out like if the market for original themes is even really there anymore. I I think considering Monkey Kid's got like a fucking boss ass cartoon judge. Yeah, this. like I said, I, like I said, if Monkey Kid keeps going, like, be supportive of Monkey Kid for those of you who are fans of Lego, because like I think Monkey Kid is kind of the future of like original themes as opposed to it, Lego just going all licensed. Besides like Lego City. Yeah, if I see another fucking Harry Potter Lego set, I'm going to like burn things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen Monkey Kid before. Like, where would I watch that? Ooh, where is it? I think it's on. Is it Nickelodeon? I can't remember. Shit, I'm gonna have to actually think, like, actually do a brain thing. Mm. I, yeah. I've been really partial to the, to the, uh, <laughs> uh, to the faux floral Legos that they've com been coming out with. I'm like, yeah. oh, I just, I was like, oh, it's perfect for me because everything I touch fucking dies. So it's really <laughs> great to have flowers that, like, stay a little longer and I don't have to Flowers flower that can survive a nuclear blast, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, you know. <laughs> I made Those Legos aren't built out of the same <laughs> stuff that Nokia's are made out of. Oh, so there you go. I love it. Okay, so apparently it's actually on Amazon Prime. Oh, even better. Oh! Nice. So if you're watching Critical Role, you can always watch Monkey Kid afterwards. Ah, yeah. yeah. When they revealed uh, Zane as a Mantra. robot, that that was always interesting that Zane was, came out as like a robot, basically. <laughs> that was always kind of a plot twist. I, I remember watching the show a lot. One thing I don't like though is that they do not acknowledge the first wave of Ninjago at all with like the skeletons. Like they never talk about that. They will reference like the serpentines like all the time, but they never talk about the skeletons again. And like that was like such like a cool <laughs> thematic part of it. I, I know I oh. was big into like the Lego movies that were coming out. Yeah. But uh, when when like I think it was Ninjago came out that movie, I was like, eh, this one's kind of weak. Because the Batman movie was so good. I liked Lego Movie One and Lego Movie Two. Those were yeah. really strong movies. But yeah, then Ninjago comes along and it's like, eh. Yeah. Also a waste of Jackie Chan for sure. It's <laughs> shame. <laughs> mm. I, yeah, I did love the the Lego movies, like one and two. They were really fun, especially the first. I feel like the jokes in the first one, like, still like get me in stitches. Like, really great. <laughs> yeah, it's a couch. I get to see a lot of the other Lego movies, although I've been meaning to watch them. Yeah, I definitely highly recommend the Batman movie because it's just a good Batman story. Oh yeah, it is. I bet. And and Will Arnett with and like Lego, Lego humor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Jesus, Jesus randomly growing. You know, I know the Beatles said they're too big for Jesus. That wasn't a competition. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Bro. Sorry, I had a silent sneeze coming along. <laughs> you just oh, inflate God. like a balloon when you hold in a sneeze. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what it feels like? It's like a puppet. True. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be like a, in, I thought maybe it was like an income and a souls or something. It's like, oh, Paul yeah. got like bad, like passing gas, like he got, <laughs> he got yeah. like, massive influx all of a sudden. I was like, wait, 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 whoa, all right, all right. Just like, broke the <laughs> Jesus rose again, said sugar and spice. <laughs> oh, sugar and spice, and everything nice. Let's see. What well, I don't know if there's everything nice, but I know that at least sugar and spice. 
Let's see here. Uh, Maringa Round says, what goofy hell is this? A mad scientist, a beauty that obviously fell through time. Jesus and a rock. <laughs> and vine boom emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Just boom. <laughs> Oh man, let's see. Uh, man, the, the song in Bionicle just never ends. Did that never end? Hmm. I don't even remember any songs. Oh, uh, I know the like the commercials had like some bangers. Yeah. The day. Yeah, they had like actual music, like all American rejects. Move along, not move Cryo along. Shell. <laughs> not the all American rejects. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got a problem with them? You got a problem no! with them? No. It, it, it... So if they're all American rejects. What are they in other parts of the country? <laughs> Acceptable <Except> Europeans? <laughs> Acceptable? <laughs> Acceptable Americans? <laughs> Acceptable Europeans! <laughs> All acceptable Europeans! That's great! <laughs> write that down! Write that down! <laughs> Say the line from Night at the Museum. Oh, fine. I assume they're one of yours. <laughs> Dum dum, give me gum gum. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I said the line, Bart. I said the line. Everybody gets one. Yes. Uh, that's your one for this stream. <laughs> you know, you're so good to your fans there, Moai. Yeah. I the don't know is, if they're fans. I think they're, I think they're more like torturers, but I love them all the same. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the uh, it's like the do the roar, do the roar. Just <laughs> from Shrek. Do the roar. Oh yeah. Everyone in chat, like yay! Do the roar. Yeah, like clip it, clip it. Because I got all the fillings of the pinata. They're very satisfied, but everyone's doing it. <laughs> That's so funny. Thing is, I, I love everything about the uh, the Night Museum movies except Ben Stiller. So I, I so funny we talk about the uh, Night Museum movies. Like right when I started VTubing, I decided to like rewatch them because you know the Moai thing. I'm like, yeah. oh hey, there's Moai in this movie. I want to rewatch these. And I gotta say, they actually hold up pretty well. They the do. only one that was like weak to me was the third one, and even that one was like still pretty decent like I, the, like, I, I think the whole and the they're coming out with the cartoon for it as well really like super yeah they're coming out with the cartoon interesting who's working on yeah. it i have no idea I, I just like saw like a trailer for whatever it's like I oh need hey to see that, i got, hope I, that I, I hope it's gonna be good yeah if it looks good i might have to check that out yeah but yeah i can't i know i know the third one was absolutely terrible because rebel wilson was in it and she was being her, yeah her utmost rebel wilson yeah like two is tolerable i feel no i think i think two was almost like it's just as good as the first one but in different ways i will yeah say. i just feel like it kind of like meanders around a little bit but then it's like the plot finally kicks in but the romance element feels tacked on in my opinion Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, like, it's a foregone eh. conclusion. He's gonna be eh. fucking a dummy if they got together. Yeah. So I mean, like... no kink shaming, though. Safe space, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, people I mean, fuck dummies the... that sit in their closets all the time, so... <laughs> I mean, he would have the very first play belt. <laughs> I do not want to think of Amelia Earhart as a fucking closet sex doll, I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, I don't think she's what happened, happened to her. To her. Yeah, she's not that sitting. What happened to her? She is not sitting at the bottom of the ocean thinking, man, I hope I make a cracking sex doll one day. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Or wherever she is. Because we don't know what happened to her. That's what I'm saying. She's like, he's somebody to explore my Bermuda Triangle. I uh, well, I mean, if your plane is running out of fuel over the ocean, there's typically only one place you can be. <laughs> Ugh, drinking my candles. Ah! I, I, it's been so long since I've seen those movies, but I remember enjoying them a lot, especially the first one. I feel like I just, oh, yeah. I just hate ninety percent of Ben Stiller's acting. The only role I've ever enjoyed Ben Stiller in is, is Dodgeball. Not even Tropic Thunder. Not, Not even, even Tropic, Tropic Thunder, Thunder. No. Oh, Dodgeball though is great. You know. I can't believe you guys actually watch movies. <laughs> uh, I haven't in a while. I'm, I just have a lexicon in my brain. 
I'm biased. I work in them. <laughs> oh, well, that's understandable then. <laughs> it's like doing homework for work. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Homework, work, work, <laughs> homework. homework. Work. We, we hate, we well, hate to see it. We hate to see it. <laughs> that's she was probably eaten by coconut crabs. People say. Oh. God. <laughs> Amelia that Earhart. Point. That actually. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't shock me at that point. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she made it to an island, and then maybe she died there. Oh. Yeah. That, what a, a way, a positive way to think about it. Yes. Yeah. Maybe she washed up on the shore somewhere and got amnesia and has no idea who she was. <laughs> That's true. Let's see. It was well, a long time ago. We didn't have internet back then, so who knows? She could have just, like, gone somewhere and, like, nobody knew who she was and she just kind of existed there for, like, the rest of her life. <laughs> and, like, we just don't know it. Amelia yeah. Earhart. She became, like, the master of underwater basket weaving in some yeah. hot in place of the world. And she's like, I'm happy. Atlantis. The fucking Angzar Psycho says, this is my favorite anime. Interesting to see them go through with the Jesus arc. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait until that swimsuit beach episode. Yeah. <laughs> Did somebody say swimsuit? <gasps> Wait, hold on. You guys just don't go naked like I do? <laughs> okay, well, I have to not be transparent. Well, see, here's the thing. I think Messing Jesus up my has a problem with like the beach episode because he can't go in the water. Yeah, he has to walk on top of it. Yeah, I go on the water. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, Jesus doing going from the high dive and he just goes splat yeah. on the top. <laughs> uh, Doesn't breach the surface. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gets back up three days later. I don't have. Well, I mean, I Moses have... couldn't go swimming either. Well, in his case, it like avoids him like the plague. Ah, it's hydrophobic. What is that? What is that? I don't have a swimsuit, the, the but I have, I have- The penguin demon! The penguin demon! The penguin demon has come for us! A fucking penguin I have, I have, just I, it fades won't even through clear. reality. The penguin demon! <laughs> She's, he's consuming Lala! He's consuming Lala! Quick, save her! <laughs> save her from the penguin no, demon! I, oh god, I'm trying to- Don't worry, Lala. I'll save she's you. She's giving me pain! The penguin is eating her! Oh, I said- I was like, wait a minute, I don't have a swimsuit, but I got something like this that's some kind of- uh, The I'll penguin is eating our hair, Lala! We have to pull her away! Oh, oh, my, oh God! Oh I need God. someone to clip oh, this. Take it away from me! Take it away from me! <laughs> okay, it's, gone. it's gone. It's gone. It's well, gone. all right. Okay, it's gone. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. Oh God! Oh God! God! The, the, the face oh, two of the box oh, fight. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. And the, the dimensional yeah, rift just opened. <laughs> <laughs> Something about time travel. You know, it, it, it's not a full pro science. I'm sure you know this, Doctor Crafty. Oh, I know. You know Look, we're, we're still trying to work it out. Every time someone does time travel in anything, it's always a different set of rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, absolutely. That's the funny thing. Like, don't it's even get never, me started on Back to the never Future. Never the same. <laughs> like, oh, man, you've undone your parents' meeting. You've only got, like, 24 hours to fix it. What, what do you mean 24 hours? There's a buffering period before history kicks in? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like, why does that work? <laughs> <laughs> if, if we do end up going to the beach, maybe I could borrow a swim soda too. Apparently, mine ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't too good. <laughs> it, it ain't working too well. <laughs> yeah. The penguin demon <laughs> the has penguin been kept at bay. I just love that it freaking came out from nowhere on this side. Like a portal just opened up in reality and a penguin comes out unannounced. It's well, I mean, come on. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. It came out from the crevice face. between my pectorals. <laughs> the penguin pecs. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about museums and it may maybe it came through, you know, may maybe it somehow came through, like, pecs every animal or something. I don't know. Ooh, maybe uh, it came in from a museum from the future of VTuber. <laughs> the swimsuit gained sentience. Oh god, that is an anime I don't want to happen. I'm. I think it's, it's not an anime. Yeah, that's not going to be an anime. That's an going to be a hentai. Swim la swim. <laughs> swim la swim. <laughs> oh dear. It's the exact same <laughs> plot as the jump scares. Ugh. Like it's the exact same plot, but every episode is the beach episode. See, time travel is a really cool plot device, but I feel like it's never done right. Yeah, it, yeah, like I said, it's a different there are ways set of to make time, time. There's ways to make time travel really cool, and they never really do it. They yeah. never play with it because. Oh, wait. I think I might have thought of a series that I actually did do time travel right. Do what? Tell. Shaolin Showdown. Did that? You know what? I think there was I an episode where one of the characters really wanted to go to the future, so they froze themselves. So when they came to the future, they realized that there was no old version of themselves to see because they froze themselves. 
Ah, yes. <laughs> but what, you know, I, I always- I'm just getting know. like, I just had like Vietnam War flashbacks, like hearing Shaolin Showdown. I'm like- <laughs> Man, remember when Cartoon Network used to make long form content? Oh, rip. Oh, why do you have to do that? That just made my heart hurt. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, there's always been like two episodes mixed in as one. Uh, yeah. It's, it's because like most things nowadays is like, um, like, what's the word? Episodic? Am I thinking? Children don't have the attention span for long form content anymore. Hmm, unfortunate. I mean, granted, I grew up on Ed and Eddie and there's no, there's no ongoing thing oh. going with that. Mwah, no, I, I love it though. Yes, exactly. It's a work of art. It needs to be in a museum. Yeah. Ed and Eddie was like a, an adult cartoon made for kids. Yes. Nope. I, <laughs> you know, that's probably I, the best way to put it. Same thing with like, hey Arnold. Like that's like, as a kid, I'm like, oh my God. And then as an adult, you're like, oh, this is really like, God, oh, my God, you know? Like, well, hey Arnold really is serious. just a slice it's of life. About. Yeah, but it's you, literally you know. just a slice of life show in animated it, form. Mm-hmm. Call that so an anime. Cool, <laughs> hey Arnold is my favorite anime right next to Cory in the house. <laughs> you know what? My personal favorite anime? Reboot. What? Reboot. Oh, I was all over that shit Aww, as a kid. Reboot. Reboot. I am not familiar with that. It was a Canadian show. It was, I think at the time, it was the first ever fully 3D show. So yes, you can imagine, like, this is like 90s era 3D as well. Oh, so, oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, like that and Beast Wars, like, that came after. Like, yeah. was, like considering time, right? 3D. Okay, so in the 90s, 3D and gaming was like. Mario 64, so I don't even want to imagine <laughs> what this looks like. Well, let me let me see if I can like get you to do like a Google search react thing. Uh, look up Reboot the show, uh, specifically show. Hexadecimal. And I just want to see what what you see. <laughs> okay, how do I Google this up? Uh, like Reboot okay. show and then Hexadecimal. It'll probably show up. The word hexadecimal? Yep. Here. You can read it. You can search up that. <laughs> okay. Everybody Hates Chris is my favorite anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, he's learning. He's acquiring oh. knowledge. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> God in heaven. <laughs> I'm right what here. Am, oh, I, I don't think you're here with me. I need you closer. I need a hug, Jesus. <laughs> this, all right, all right. Like, okay, I'll listen. Go. I will say, the robot lady is hot, right? <laughs> I, I would the robot lady, but holy shit, what is this animation? Yeah, like this was pioneering back in the day. This <laughs> looks yeah. like, this looks like an SFM. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this was pretty much SFM before it became a thing. Good God, <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. <laughs> and yet the funny thing is, is it was a pretty good plot line. It's, it's basically if Cyberpunk was made back in, in the 90s. Yeah. Again, like I said, I would absolutely this robot lady. Like now that I'm like looking at it, I'm like, this design actually goes hard. Oh yeah, I For think, real. and Hexadecimal's whole thing was that like, she would change her face mask for like different expressions. So yeah, it was every a really time she cool would wave her hand in front of her face, it would change expression. Yeah, it's really cool. Again, I, I'm I'm vibing this design here. Oh, and yes. Jesus, you might remember this more than me because my memory is like a fucking goldfish, like sometimes. Was Tim Curry Megabyte? I can't remember. No, I think it was the guy who played Judge Frollo in Hunchback and Notre Yeah, I think they're right, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's something all right. Oh, boy. But yeah, like... Like, I remember Reboot being a good show. It has not visually aged well, as you can obviously tell. Uh, the Reboot... She's a reboot computer virus, and is that a problem? <laughs> and a mommy, and she can infect me anytime. She was... I, I don't know. Mm. See, I, I, Lala has question. the right idea here. I, I, I had a question. I, uh, I don't know. I'd be my careful about... Very you. Important. I would be careful about using the word infect in any sexual sense, because, uh, hey, you know did, what? Guys, <laughs> did you know that bug, did you know that bug catching is a kink and I fucking hate it? Wait, Oh, what? God. Wait, hold on, Wait, bug catching? What? Hold on, bug what? Catching? what? Allow I'm me sorry. to explain, what? all right, I'm going to briefly. Yes, please, explain. Oh, no, 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 don't ruin her wait. innocence. Don't wait, ruin wait, her wait. innocence. <laughs> like, you can ruin my innocence. I want to know. Like, can you imagine you go 
going on a first date and you're like, hi, I love long walks on the beach, I love a nice dinner, and I love uh, when my partner pulls, uh, pours uh, bed bugs all over me, it's really like, it just gets me going. Oh no, no that, yeah. oh, see, oh, no, oh, no, that's not, that's that what not, you're no, it's not that's that. Not that. That's not what it is. Because I want to make it sound like, what was, what's going on? Okay, yeah, well, let, I'm gonna confuse I'm, here too. Here's how I'm gonna put it as innocently as I can. Oh, Imagine God. if STDs were a Pokedex and you're trying to complete it. That's what bug catching is. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me I and Bo right this. here just like in Lala the La la mind break. La la mind break. <laughs> oh, God. I hate it. I hate it. Well, at least you will Google it. Yeah, <laughs> it's better you find out this way than like yeah. actually experiencing it. At least you're in a controlled environment here. <laughs> Controlled lab environment. You like your fucking pawn your date shows and it's like, oh sweet, I can Jesus Christ, you need to die again. We need like more sin cleansing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jesus uh, I'm for so, us. Uh, Moai, 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 my friend. Yes. Even I can't absolve you of that sin. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's not. Oh, Moai's so the whole not... forgiveness of sin thing is a is a farce, huh? Nah, nah. It, look, Moai's not the one back being in the day. Cleansed sin here. was different. Yeah. But the one who's being... now, I'm not the one being cleansed here. Yeah, the one you're who's dying being for their sins. Yeah, the one who's now being cleansed here. Now die for us, Jesus. Die for us. Is the guy that shows up to the date and says, "Look, uh, do, do you have AIDS? Because I really need to add that to my collection." <laughs> oh, I feel unclean saying that. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, you should feel unclean saying that. <laughs> yeah. I fucking imagine me learning about that. Ugh. Not the cocoon. <laughs> the, the what? Not the cocoon, the bucket. Oh. <laughs> that is not Lala the has literally been mind broken. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Where's that dating app? Where are you going to meet like She tiny. snapped. <laughs> People She's in your snapped. area. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's <What>? gone. <laughs> To the space between spaces. The minus zone. <laughs> she, Lala's gonna go back to her stream later and be like, yeah. fucking, like, oh, guys, I was just over at Dr. Crafty's lab. She's just like what rocking back and was. forth in her chair, like just in silence with like chat watching. Oh, yeah, it's her squeaky gamer chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Make it stop. Make it stop! General Grievous Make of Kinks, another stop. fine addition to my collection. Oh, God, no. oh no! I hate that! <laughs> Angsa, wait, why would you say wait, something wait. so controversial wait, and yet so wait. brave? Wait, wait, wait a minute. They have General Grievous Kinks? <laughs> wait a minute, what is happening? Wait. I mean, well, yeah, fucking, for the I mean that, that, that's not that's not that weird. Yeah, that's guess, not that guess, weird. My my, my, my wife is actually that makes into a lot of sense. By comparison, <laughs> wanting to fuck General Grievous is normal. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would take someone who wants to fuck General Grievous much more than someone who wants to have a sexual intercourse with someone who has STDs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. And you know, as a lady, I I, I do look at the uh, availability of many models uh, as as definitely a plus. Yeah. Oh. A lot of hands, a lot of hands. We yeah. love that. I don't know, he gets kind of handsy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Let's show see. me the force. Yeah, anyway. So. Oh, fuck, I need a moment to like reset my brain after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Marin's the General Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Hello there. Yeah. Oh, do you, uh, yeah. do you know want to know my favorite Star Wars fact? Since we're on the topic of Kenobi, sure. Yeah. My favorite Star Wars fact is how the budget for the prequel series was ballooned by one guy, Ewan mm -hmm. McGregor, caused mm -hmm. the effects budget to have to go skyrocketing because they had to keep dubbing out all of his lightsaber noises he made with his mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Right. Yeah, he's on set going like That's so based. Oh yeah. my god. So they had to like edit out all the sounds. It just makes me love you and McGregor even more. Yeah. Like <laughs> I love it too. It's, it's, it's my favorite Star Wars fact. In Ewan's defense, how many of us do the exact same thing oh, where yeah, we're just wielding? Oh like, absolutely. Oh, like, guilty, guilty, who definitely, wouldn't? Definitely. They who kept wouldn't? telling him to stop and he just couldn't. 
to this day, I still, you know, when I, you know, go to the store, you know, I put my hand in front of me to open the, the doors, you know. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah. I got the doors. Fuck you, mm. open the doors when I'm like finishing grocery shopping, you know. <laughs> oh God, what's Monster King? What are you saying? General Grievous, I learned Jedi tricks and sexual tricks from Count Dooku. No. <laughs> oh, oh, he was learning no. about Count Dooku's uh, curved lightsaber handle, huh? Oh, no. Oh, why? Like really Sean had to work the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to turn the lightsaber on, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And speaking of fucking lightsaber lore, fucking, uh, who played Mace Windu again? Um, oh, Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson single-handedly changed the entire lore of lightsabers just because he wanted yes. his to be purple. And people yeah. say the prequels are bad. Listen, we, we, stand, we stand somebody coming in and being like, no, 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 you will create more lore because you want a purple. I lore. like the color purple. Look, <laughs> I will create say lore this. for me. I will say this as someone who went through that time. Uh, the sequels are the worst. The prequels are the middle ground. And the original trilogy is the best. <laughs> General consensus, yeah. I mean, what General were you expecting yeah. to happen with the, with the sequel trilogy when it was being made, what, 30 years after the originals? Yes. And like half of the actors are either A, dead, or B, really old, or B, or C, Fucking hate the franchise, you know, like, like. <laughs> Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I or trying D to remember his name. in the middle of the production. Yeah, some of them just started hating it during the middle of production. Whereas Harrison Ford was there at day one, being like, "I don't want to be here." Can my he was there in like die? New Hope, like, "I want to go the fuck away. I want to die, <laughs> and I want to never know what the Force is ever again." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then he said that, and then everybody was like, oh, Daddy Solo! What? <laughs> he has returned! He has returned! <laughs> oh, no. And he's like, no, I can't deal with this. No. Just, 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 so, just, so speaking of, speaking of hating the rules, um, uh, what's your call it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Alec Guinness, who mm. played Obi-Wan originally, like, mm -hmm. a lot of people said he hates his role, which I think is actually a misconception. He thought that the movies were a little bit, like, goofy and dumb, but, like, he yeah. understands, like, the cultural importance of it. He, like, he gets it. Like, he, like, he enjoys the fact that he was in that role, but he didn't exactly like the films themselves. Yeah, it's because he was a Shakespearean trained actor. That typically yeah. like that. Yep. So but again, he, he like he he like understood like you know like this is like a cultural phenomenon. It's like I'm happy to be a part of it in for that reason. Yeah, exactly. Whereas unlike Harrison Ford, is like fuck this. Yeah, fucking, Just, he could like, not wait. He, to he die. would rather do another Indiana Jones movie when he's in his like fucking 80s yeah. than do another Star Wars film. <laughs> wait, are they making a new Indiana Jones movie? Yes, sir, they're they making are, a fifth yes. one. They are. They are. Although, wait, a fifth although. One. He's in that show Shrinkin' right now, which is totally left field. He plays like a therapist. Oh, <laughs> it's totally no. different, but it's, he's actually really good. It's a very good show. No, it's absolutely. Good. Harrison Ford is a great actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just totally I think that's why different. he hates Star Wars, is that he doesn't yeah. want to be known for being in Star Wars. He wants to be known as being a good actor. Well, it's not just that. It's the fandom is awful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No one yeah. hates Star Wars more than the Star Wars fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I know I mean, good people left. that like Star Wars, and they're really great. Like, I do love friends. Star Wars. Look, I yeah. love Star Wars. But the people who hate it really fucking hate it. Yeah, no they kidding. They really do. There's people who are like, I'm not seeing that new Knives Out garbage movie because Ryan Johnson ruined Star Wars forever. I hope his career crashes and burns. You know, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, so, I actually think out of the two directors, I think Ryan Johnson was better than JJ. This is a hot take. Absolutely. I think Ryan Absolutely. Johnson was better. Absolutely. The problem was is that Ryan Johnson only had one film to work with. Uh, yeah. Like I wonder. The, yeah. I... The sequel trilogy has its own like fucking laundry list of ways it all went wrong, and that was mostly because it was yes. made by committee. Agreed. Agreed. They Agreed. were making it up as they went along, basing it on the director swap. The Carrie Fisher's death, the director swap. There's so much that went wrong. Yeah, yep. oh, yeah. it's unfortunate. Yep, yep. Yep. And it's why it's why I think that like the shows like Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, are like kind of carrying like like the post OT era. Like they're kind of carrying like the story now because the sequels flop so badly. And, like they're kind yeah. of that, and like that's kind of like what they're building like a lot of like 
that sort of era's lore around now is they're just building around like Mandalorian and Boba Fett because that's what fans like. It's something that has succeeded. It's doing well. So we're just going to focus on that and just kind of like push the sequel trilogy to the wayside and just like pretend it didn't happen as much as possible. Yeah, even the spin-off yeah. movies like Rogue One and like Solo, they were just like, eh. Also, Solo was good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Solo was a great movie. I like. I, I have also liked. I, I liked Rogue One. I think uh, Rogue One is good. Andor, in particular, the TV show. I think oh, that's probably Andor. one of the best yeah. things. That Andor was, was so phenomenal. Yeah, fabulous, like, fabulous. TV show. It, like the thing is, Andor was so good it didn't feel like Star Wars. That's how good it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah in Star Wars, there's um... always like there's always like some level of like badness and like Andor was just like it was so well put together. It was like the cinematography well, you was know why amazing. That is, right? Like, especially like the like the one way out, like the prison arc was unbelievably good yeah like there's like, a reason it, it feels that way and i can explain exactly why uh it's it's written and produced by people that did basically shows from my country like downton abbey and stuff oh mm. so it feels like a political drama or like a, a yes. or like a noble drama rather than star wars and that's interesting yeah. yeah and also the one thing i really liked about um andor though is that you don't like see stormtroopers until the very end like there's they rely very little on like iconicism in it mm -hmm. like you see shore troopers right and like that, that happens like once and like that's how it goes to Brazil. But, like other than that like you just see like regular military you don't see the stormtroopers and it like it almost gives you sort of this more retroactive appreciation for them when they do show because like then it's like oh the empire means business they're like not just like you, they don't just like throw stormtroopers around everywhere, you know? Like, they have like regular military first. And, like, that's kind of like what is perspectivized in Andor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Angzar Psycho says, uh, I recall George Lucas had originally started some ideas for a sequel trilogy, which was never used. Not just never used, Disney completely threw it out. They they, they shot down every okay. single listen. idea. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I, as much as the sequel trilogy was bad, I would rather have the sequel trilogy three more times than have the Yusin Vong from the original Expanded Universe once. <laughs> the Yusin Vong are one of the worst things in Star Wars. They feel like, like a 40k race was written into Star Wars and it was done so terribly. Oh, oh my man. god. Let's see. Uh, I will say though. Explain in layman's terms to those who may not, uh, yeah. may not be, uh, so, uh, cultured to know the, uh... The, the, the Yuzen Vong, basically what happened is the Yuzen Vong are this race that comes from outside, like, the Star Wars galaxy, right? They come from, like, another galaxy, quote-unquote. And, like, <laughs> it turns out, far, far and, it, and, it, and it turns out, like, so they're, they're this complete, like, organic race. Like, they don't have technology. They are completely cut off from the Force. They're like, vegan. Mm-hmm. No, they're not vegan. Like everything is like <laughs> everything is like a no, every, no, everything is like a bio weapon, right? Like their ships are alive. Like their weapons are alive. Oh. They're like this weird like call, and they have like oh. hooks in their face and mouth. That's what you mean. Face like, true. Yeah, and like, like what they got? They got sprouts. They got tempeh, seitan on the. And it, it gets so like, much like, worse. Like, they're the it Navi gets so much from worse, Avatar. right? Because it tries to redeem the emperor by, emperor by saying, "Oh, the emperor was making." the Death Star to stop the Yuzen Vong. And, um, these are from uh, the expanded books. They're from like the oh, um, Heir to the books. Empire books, like like Literally that series. Books. Like it's it's the same series that Grand Admiral Thrawn is from. Oh. Yeah, and like Grand Admiral Thrawn was, Thrawn was like part of this plot, but like Disney salvaged Thrawn from that and like they made him like a character in New Canon, which I'm so thankful for without bringing back like the Yuzen Vong because Yuzen Vong are terrible. Cause the problem is they killed three like trillion people in the galaxy like that is like their death count ouch like literally the entire galaxy ouch. everyone had to fight them and oh. that was the problem because it was like it completely destroyed what made star wars good by making it at such a huge ridiculous scale oh dear, oh dear that sounds terrible like Yuz and Vong are some of the worst things I have ever seen written in Star Wars. And that's why I said, even though the sequel trilogy is bad, I would rather have had that than whatever they were cooking in, like, the Legends books. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, the biggest thing I can recall about Star Wars, like, from a personal experience, 
I used to work in the Disney store like a good like three or four years ago. Oh, you're a so, Disney store employee. That's okay. right. Oh, did you have to wear the mouse oh. ears? <laughs> okay, Wait, you're a Disney yes. employee. Do you know about John Mouse? Do you know about John Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. When Star when the Star Wars trilogy was first coming out, they got all of us together and it was like well, I'm, I'm glad that Star Wars came out, you know, like <laughs> out us, like I'm proud of it. Yeah. Way to go, Star Wars. But it was treated like a fucking Area 51 secret. Uh yeah. everything was under lock and key. Uh, we were all had to hand in our phones and everything, yeah. and like we'd, we'd never had to do this with any other product. Yeah. Something about Star Wars, they had, they said this, this needs to be a fucking national secret. You cannot yeah. reveal any of the products back here to, yeah. the, to any on any surface level of, at all. And I was just yeah. like, man, fucking what the deal? So what did you see? Like, what was it? Oh, it was mostly like the new action figures, the die cast stuff. The stuff oh. you would have easily seen, but it's just a case of like they kept it so lock and key. I was oh, oh I bet so tight lipped. Yeah. I mean, even like everything, every there was so protective. Like yeah, we couldn't I mean, even tell people it was back there if people asked us about it because it was yeah. it was like street dating and stuff. Oh. So even if people knew about, it, we had to act like. We Do were not leak the ray figures with the special lightsaber action. <laughs> oh, there was actually a thing about that. Now that someone brings it up. I don't know which figure it was, but they had to do a fucking massive recall because one of them had the wrong hair color. Oh dear. <gasps> yep, so we had to take them all off the shelf. Oh <laughs> no. And hide them away. And people wanted to buy them because guess what? Defect figures are actually really valuable. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Collectors, I mean, just, of course. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, just look at the seven. still don't answer my question. What do you know about John Mouse? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I know he lives in the underground tunnels, which are real, by the way. No, John Mouse was killed by Walt Disney. John <laughs> Mouse is the original inventor of Mickey Mouse. He was killed and assassinated by Walt Disney as a cover-up by the gun skeleton. This is a real- this actually happened. The what? And I know you're hiding it. <laughs> I'm the sorry, the what? <laughs> The gun skeleton. The, the, the gun skeleton. Hold he on. Is yes, the, the gun, ske he the gun skeleton all. was hired by Walt Disney to assassinate John Mouse so that Walt Disney could steal the Mickey Mouse IP. Johannes Mouse was a German immigrant who came to America. He wrote a comic strip which was not very successful, but however, Walt Disney wanted to steal this property from him, so he hired the gun skeleton to kill John Mouse. Now, the secret has to go out there. Now, John Mouse saying, is real. I have, I have to like divert no, back to, no. to the gun skeleton. Is it no, a on. gun that is shaped like a skeleton, or is it a no, gun No, it is, a, it is a skeleton with a gun. It is a skeleton with a gun. <laughs> Now, hold on. Isn't John Mouse the musician? No, oh, God. no, no. No, that's Dead Mouse. Yeah, that's Dead Mouse. <laughs> I mean, John Mouse is a dead mouse now, but John Mouse was real. Do not believe the lies. He is the original creator of Mickey Mouse. Oh God, I'm fucking dying here. This is this is great. <laughs> Mo, fucking Monster King says, "Mo, why did you smoke?" <laughs> no, I'm not smoking anything. Care. I am in perfectly clear mind. You guys are all just crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. John You're Mouse crazy. is real. Everyone tweet out hashtag John Mouse is real right now. <laughs> Everyone watching the stream tweet out hashtag John Mouse is real. I'm gonna fucking do it actually. I wanna see what happens. <laughs> yes. John Everyone wait, tweet out John Mouse wait, is real. Wait, hashtag I, John Mouse is real. Is it, is now, is it, it, it J O N or J O H N? Yeah, I had a spell. J O H N. John, no, and when you no, say mouse, a, mouse, is it M-O-U-S-E or is it M-A-U-S? Here, I, I will give you what to actually tweet out. <laughs> Good, because I was about to I will ask post it in the chat, you have to. I wasn't sure if it was like M-A-U-S. Like yes, in, John yeah, like Mouse German. is real. There is the hashtag. Everyone tweet hashtag John Mouse is real right now. <laughs> Everyone watching this stream. Fucking do it. I want to see if this happens. <laughs> you you will you will actually if you go through the hashtag you will see the lore. You will see the lore. Oh John God, Mouse is lore. a real. There is lore. John Mouse is real. John Mouse is real. Ask Moai. <laughs> he is real. I am the only one who knows. Disney <laughs> Disney ninjas are after me as we speak. I am hiding in Alaska right now. Wait, hold on. You're hiding from Disney, yet you came to Florida, the basically the home base. Yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. They can't fight me. They can't touch me. <laughs> 
Fucking, well, to be fair, the Everglades is more or less international waters at this point. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing Not even Disney dares to go in there. <laughs> there's lore. Matt Pat has entered the chat. <laughs> yes, there's lore. I fucking love and hate this so much. <laughs> John Mouse is real. <laughs> you guys just don't believe it. <laughs> And who told you this, Moai? Who gave you this forbidden I knowledge? found this. I found this out. I found this out. It's very real. Is it on the ancient texts? Yes. <laughs> John Mouse is real. Seriously, go to the hashtag, look down. You will find it. He is real. Oh, God. I'm going to look at this. There's a photo of him. I have a photo of him. Go ahead. Google reverse image search it. You will not find it. Why is Elara posting about this, too? <laughs> because it's real. Like, it's real. It's very real. <laughs> I've just seen... See, Crafty, there is, there is a picture of him right now. Google reverse image search him. You will not find that image anywhere else. Oh, no. Oh, good lord. See, here's the image I'm fucking getting. Hang on. I'm going to put this in the general when I look this up. <laughs> what are you getting? This is the image I get when I look it up. John Mouse lives. He's real. <laughs> He's very real. <laughs> oh god, I am Have you ever laughed so much your head actually starts to hurt? <laughs> Lala, what I don't are you know why you're laughing. I don't know why you're laughing. This is a serious issue. It's this has been a cover up by Disney since Listen, like I mean, the 1900s. I, it's a nervous it, it, you know, it's, it's nervous to like it, I I you know, I have I just have mm. this condition that I start laughing uncontrollably when I, you know, when I Wait, Hang on, I just I noticed the fucking so, flaw no. in your theory then, Moai. Uh, <laughs> that image you shared is in color. Yes, it is. Color wasn't it was, invented it, until 1950. It's colorized, it's colorized. <laughs> Here, I can show you the original uncolorized John Mouse book. colorized 1901. <laughs> I can show I, uh... you the original uncolorized photo. Right now, I, will, I will go and grab it from my secret vault that I keep in my basement. Hang on. Just give me one moment here. I, I will show you. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I promise you this is real. What is air? Because <laughs> I'm certainly not getting it right now. Oh, you're not? <sighs> there we go. First breath I've taken in like 10 minutes. <laughs> See, hang oh, on. Here, chemicals. here, in, in the general, in the general, where is the general? <laughs> this, this, this right here, this is the original photo of John Mouse. There he is. You know, I'm so original... glad that in 1901 there was fucking high def. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the cameras were, were better than you think they were. <laughs> the cameras were better than you think they were. <laughs> it's because it's Disney, you know? <laughs> it's that Disney magic. Yeah, Disney <laughs> magic. That's how they film me. They, they, they first experimented with the John Mouse photographs, and then they used that technology to make their movies. <laughs> Let's see. Did you know John Mouse's ghost was actually the one who did the Kingdom Hearts music leak for Smash Bros? He was exactly. He just did. His ghost. His ghost leaked the Kingdom Hearts music. People need to remember he is alive. He is the original owner of Mickey Mouse. He created him. <laughs> oh lord. I don't lord. understand why you guys are laughing. This is a serious matter. Here we go. To be fair, I laugh at most things. <laughs> Uh, right, conspiracy theories always make me laugh anyway. <laughs> this is not a conspiracy theory. This is the truth. This has now become a PSA for John, just, John Mouse. Just John Ma hashtag PSA. John Mouse is real. Just, just fucking Moai standing in front of the fucking Pepe Silvia board. <laughs> Pepe Silvia, Pepe Silvia, where are you? Yes. <laughs> and you too, chat, can support the cause today by please supporting hashtag John Mouse is real. Yes. <laughs> the truth needs to be out there. Disney can't the silence truth is all out there. The I want truth to is believe. Out there. <laughs> I want to believe that is real. to go real quick there. Let's see. <laughs> Chimera Guay says, uh, and you thought having Heaton and Scotty in the same room was a bad idea. At least, that, at least at that point, I learned like fucked up knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you learn more fucked up knowledge now. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> insane? No, I'm quite so. I'm quite sober right now. In fact, <laughs> I am a sound mind. 
Uh, to be fair, I don't think sanity and sobriety are the same thing. <laughs> well, I am quite sane. I can assure you I have a doctor's note. Is it mine, though? Because that does not help. <laughs> no, no, it's it's Dr. Steven. <laughs> I was about to oh, say, if you say Doofenshmirtz, I'm gonna fucking flip. <laughs> No, no, he, 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 he's, he's real trust me. Trust this dude, trust me. <laughs> so, your doctor's name is Steven? That's strange. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, Dr. Steven. Dr. Steven. <laughs> Are you sure about that, says Cannabis Prime? <laughs> Dr. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm uh, chat. I'm disappointed in you. Not one of you is saying Dr. Caliban. Unfortunate. Fake fans. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fake fans. Wait, wait. Doctor Who? I mean, no, which one? Wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. Which doctor? Who are you talking about? We don't know which one you want about. Yeah. Eleven season was my personal favorite. Monster Ooh. King. Thank you for your solo raid. Ooh. Yeah, Hello. Just, just one guy climbing in through the window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here for the stream. Because he, another one for the cause. Hashtag John <laughs> Mouse is real. Tweet it somewhere. You're here. You're here. Thank you for coming to the Everyone point. needs to tweet I'm hashtag John Mouse, Mouse is real. Everyone needs to. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Fucking the, all, of all the things I thought might happen tonight, I did not think John Mouse would be it. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. It, 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 like This is a deep rabbit hole. You don't know what you've started. <laughs> I've been hearing about this for weeks. Even, a, even Alara is a believer. Even Alara is a believer. <laughs> <laughs> True, she tweeted it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see, I will always climb for your window, dog. Well, be careful, because, like, there's a drop. I mean, look up there. That's the window you came up in. That one in the corner up there. My, all I can tell you is, I've been in heaven, and I have not seen a John Mouse. So if they died, they didn't go up there. Oh, no. <laughs> or... Or maybe Plus they're still twist. alive and they're being held hostage. <laughs> yeah, how big is the What are you hiding, egg? Disney employee? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you hiding, John Mouse? Yeah, you all of you guys in chat are all like Disney's Walt Disney froze his head. No, they're both got frozen heads. They're, they're, they're locked in a permanent staring contest. Well, I'm getting frozen head. What? What? I'm uh, sorry, what? <laughs> 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 Just completely derailed. Everything. I had to process that for a moment. Yeah. The yeah. last thing I want is to have to put a PNG of Elsa's head down there and have it fall. <laughs> that is the last thing I want to do with my life. Conceal yeah. the field, don't let it show. Oh God. Let, let it, it grow. Let, let it grow. <laughs> Can't hold it back anymore. Uh, oh, oh, the NCAA oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Really, really, Neb Caligo? That's the con the thing that made you say I want to follow. <laughs> is that it? What do you mean? That's the perfect way to follow. They hear that. It's like, yeah, this is the content I want to subscribe to. Yes. Follow. <laughs> follow me as well for more John Mouse theories. <laughs> All I do on my channel is talk about John Mouse 24/7. <laughs> So make sure to follow me there. God, I'm fucking dying. Please don't die. You, you can't. I mean, I physically can't. This fucking eldritch heart in me won't let me. Oh, I see. You Understandable. Know, you know, Doc, I do have a question for you. Yes. Now, you made the character of Sasha as your love interest for your lore, right? That's correct, yes. Why didn't you give her the initials of HP? Because then HP loves crafty. Because HP is also racist. Fair point. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> there are two things known about H.P. Lovecraft. One, he was really fucking frightened of fish. Yeah. And, and B, he was apparently racist. Yeah, what's his cat name? Let's not look that up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no. Yeah. Does his cat have a really bad name? Yes, it does. Oh, it's no. really bad. Oh, no. Oh, it's no! Literally just the. Uh, yeah, I just looked it up. Don't say the name out loud. Oh, yeah, no. do not, not say the name, please. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. The last thing I want to yeah. put in my, in my search bar is what's happening. <gasps> I am not gonna put in my search bar what does HP yeah. Lovecraft yeah. call this pussy? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, we've got so many different oh, places no. tonight. Oh, no. Fucking direction? What is that? I thought this would be like two hours of talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, but no. We've been oh. on a fucking journey tonight. Oh, we are just aimless duck. <laughs> Crafty. Well, look at this this group of interesting people inviting to the lab to study as, uh, as specimens. Look at this, look at this. Oh, well, we're going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Smash cut to John Mouse is real! Don't <laughs> it's like the lab is melting down, everything is on fire. <laughs> it's like that one like gift of the guy the walking camera. the pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me walking to my lab with pizza, everything's this. on fire. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> a small price to pay for getting the truth out there. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Burn Shadow says, um, can we go back to Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't want to talk about John Mouse and Lovecraft's racist last name. <laughs> I can't even get through it without You can't that. escape the truth of John Mouse. You can't escape the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're, we're killing Lala. Yes. Oh no! Stay with us, Lala! You can't go into the light! Jesus! Bring your soul back here, quick! <laughs> Alright, I'll do my best! Do some lay on the road! Almost day is <laughs> Oh god. Keep your soul grounded in this mortal plane for just a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I'm, I'm, I think I'm going in the wrong direction, everybody! I don't think this is the direction! I don't think I'm going to be revived, I'm going in the wrong direction! <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Is it bright or is it hot? It's very hot. It's hot. It's hot. That's what well, she said. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, the last time a woman went down on her knees and said it's hot, well, I'm just gonna leave that and leave it at that. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna kill Lala. She's gonna suffocate. <laughs> what do you think uh, I've been doing the last half hour? <laughs> trying to keep your shit together. <laughs> Trying to clench my butt cheeks to keep my shit together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it all in there. Gotta keep it all in there. <laughs> what is it? What even is this stream now? What this is <laughs> This stream is chaos incarnate. It truly is. This is episode two of Open Lab. I can't talk yes. this. I'm well, sure you can. Well, I mean you could top it if you just brought me back. <laughs> No, 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 no. Then you just top everybody else there, Moai. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> and so they realized they were both tops? A question yeah. mark? <laughs> and then we started Beyblade. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say a Beyblade? Yep. Oh, I think, Je I think Jesus knows a guy that has a thing to do with Beyblades. Yeah, Moses oh, yeah. started the Red Moses, Sea with a baby. Yeah, Fuck, I, I just won't shut up about it. I still can't believe that's a real plot point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they never explicitly say it, but it's so like implied with like the visual that they show on screen, and it's just like, are you kidding me? Wait, wait, the, the, what? Oh no, do you not know? Gee, what happened? Okay, so let me let me see if I can like I can break it down in a way. So you know about Beyblade, right? The show about spinning yes. tops doing battle. Yes. Of uh, course, not of course, in the original yes. series. I think it was like a few ones down. But they introduce a plot point where they go into like a, a weird flashback. They say that Moses, you know, let my people go, Moses, parted the Red Sea by launching a Beyblade. <laughs> I quit. I quit. Oh. While we're, on, while we're on this topic, do you guys want to hear a, a crackpot theory about Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I oh, quit. No. Oh, sure. Sure, I'd love to hear it. Are, are you ready for a really interesting theory? So, Did John Mouse invent Yu-Gi-Oh? No. I wish he did. But no. So, you all know who Exodia is, right? Yes. You all know Exodia. Yes. Big bad uh, uh, instant win condition. Yes. Uh, so, five pieces, so on and so forth. And then you have the Egyptian gods, right? Yep. Yes. So... Interestingly enough, the, you know, Egyptians, like ancient Egyptians, you know, when Yu-Gi-Oh was invented, right? They believed in, uh, like a pantheistic, like a pantheistic religion, religion, right? Yes. Yeah. They believed in multiple gods. So, isn't it a little bit weird that you have this outlier of Exodia, who is an instant win, who technically beats all of the other gods? Isn't that a little bit weird? Uh huh. Oh, I think I see where you're getting at. Like, isn't that a little bit strange? 
Yes. So, also, if you notice, isn't it interesting that Exodia is called, you know, the Forbidden One? Uh -huh. Right? And that, you know, the Egyptians would, you know, outlaw him. He's forbidden. Right. Yes. Are you see where I'm going with it? Like, huh, you know, this one, you know, it, it makes sense that if Exodia was from, like, a monotheistic, like, religion, right? Uh-huh. And, you know, 4,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians, what were they at? They, they were pretty famous in the Bible for uh, something, right? Yeah, yeah, they were. They, they were pretty famous for, uh, you know, having, like, the Hebrew slaves, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. You know, the ones who worshipped a single, all-powerful god? Yeah. Are you trying to suggest to me that now, Exodia is Jewish? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, I'm saying... Now, I want, now, now, I'm saying Exodia is a depiction of the Hebrew god in the Bible. <gasps> Yahweh. Because, now, I, now, hear me out. What book of the Bible did the Egyptians and, you know, the Hebrew slaves get freed. What book of the Bible was that? Uh, volume 6 yeah, of the manga. manga. Volume 6 of the manga! What book of the Bible was it? That, you know... Exodus. No, it was... Exodus. Fuck. Exodia. Exodus. I fucking hate it here! I feel like... You're How exactly. else do you explain that? How else do you explain that? Literally, you know what? why Charlie Day from Always Sunny Dill, that meme image where it's like all the red lines collected on a like on a board. <laughs> Exodia, you know, let my monsters go. go. Oh god. Exodia, let my monsters go. <laughs> um, I have to go up to my friend Avi now and tell him Exodia is Jewish. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay! Well, oh, that's at least it. mean Exodia I'm... has something in common. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. Every Passover, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's now an annual tradition. <laughs> yeah. That's don't it. The, yeah. See, the moms in the '90s board. were wrong. Exodia, like Yu-Gi-Oh, is not demonic. It's actually holy. It's Christian because Exodia is a depiction of Jewish. God. <laughs> well, that's because you weren't invented yet. <laughs> well, neither were you. Actually, were you? Do you outlet? Do you outtime the Egyptians? Me? No. Uh, the Moai were made, I think, uh, around 1000 AD, something like that. Ah. Something, that, that's what we date them to, but they could be older. Yeah, because we only see the head parts, the rest of them. The rest, yeah. The no, no, the no, there are actually our the bodies. There are actually our bodies. There yeah, are that's bodies. what I was going to say. The, the Moai Megazords are all buried on the ground. No, I'm actually serious. Like, there are bodies, and, like, we only see the pictures of the ones in the grounds, but, like, the ones that you go see if you were to go visit Rapa Nui mm -hmm. are actually ones that are above ground. I'll show you right now. Oh, please do. Yeah, See, I, I will show this. some actual knowledge tonight. Yeah, actual knowledge. <laughs> if you guys, if any of you want to look this up yourselves, you guys can Google Ahu Tangakiri. I'll post this in the general chat of our <laughs> server here. Just a picture Ooh, nice. of it. The, yeah, this is Ahu Tangakiri. You can see that ah, they actually have bodies. Oh, I see. And then there's just Ooh. one guy with a cake on his head. Wow. No, that's that's called the Pakao, actually. We actually don't know the full meaning of that. I was about to say, I was they like, wasn't that just Moai in the picture? That looks like Moai in the picture. You yeah. have a little thing on the head. Yeah, I have a little hat. Oh, I see. Because oh, I was okay, looking at that, and I was just like, he's looking at the one in the middle. It's like, I want to be tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, no, I'm, I'm, the one the hat. I'm the one with the drip, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You kind of look like a rabbi with that hat. <laughs> no, a different kind of hat. Yeah, it, looks, it, it does look like a piece of cake, though. Look, because the top looks like a I've, been, I've heard it's always been called like a Lego stud. You know Ooh. what? I can see that. Yeah, I can see that too. I, That's the yeah, one that everyone goes great. to. You're built, yeah, like you the, go. you're built like Lego Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> you're the fifth member of the band Devo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Uh, so, dark question. What was the bigger surprise? Exodia being Jewish or Yu-Gi-Oh! and Atem being metagame? Fucking, you know, I, I think the whole Exodia being Jewish is the bigger surprise here. Yeah. I mean, even funnier. He does actually look like the ancient depictions of golems back then. That's true. That's actually true. That's actually, yeah, you're right. You're and right. also, also, if you guys know, like, the fake uh, Exodia card, Darkly Big Rabbi... <laughs> Oh, you no. guys haven't seen that? You guys haven't seen that? No, Darkly big I, rabbi? What? what the fuck? 
So there's a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, like like it's like a knockoff that was kind of common like way back in like the 90s. It's it's this. Look at this. Oh God, let me see what this is. Oh wait, hang on. That that's not an actual. Oh, card. one of those fake cards. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. One here. of those fake cards. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll, I'll post the actual image. Here we go. There, darkly big rabbi. There you go. <laughs> God what? Damn it. Show yeah, show darkly big rabbi on stream for everybody. Oh, I'll have it to is, see if I can get. If I it can. is hysterical. Let me let me see here. Save that. <laughs> darkly big rabbi. <laughs> Listen, if that's what if that if that's what rabbis ended up looking like, I'd I'd be that's like hiring a bodyguard. I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> Tell me whatever it is. <laughs> Like, talk your shit, King, goddamn. Yeah, giving a sermon with, while also serving it, you know. With the yeah, exactly. Look at this, yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah, there's Darkly Big Rabbi. Darkly Big <laughs> Rabbi. Look at him. Look at this yeah. little man. <laughs> I find it so funny that his attack is infinity, but he has no defense. Yeah. Well, yeah. why do you need defense when you have an infinite attack? You know? <laughs> because people can't read. They'll play him in defense mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, right, yeah. Yu Gi Oh players can't read, correct. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, that that no. is indeed a, a true statement. None of us have literate, like, like literate capabilities. <laughs> yeah. You just put a Yu-Gi-Oh card in someone's hand, and it, they just instantly go, Buh. Yeah. <laughs> you take it off, and they're back to normal. You're a grown-ass man. Read the card text. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> too many Karibos. Yeah. <laughs> too, too, too many Karibos. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Most of says, saving. what is reading? Yeah. <laughs> What's okay. reading? I don't know either. I think it's a magical spell that you can cast. I'm saving, I'm saving this meme picture and I'm gonna put it on my mo like it on my mirror every day as a motivation. Yeah. To, like, read the text. <laughs> wake read up everybody, read the text. Life. Read the text. Please. Everyone wake up. John Mouse is real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lordy Lord. Well, I think that is actually a good point to bring us towards a close tonight. Yes. Because I don't think we can top John Mouse at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to go that into that sort of thing. Yeah. But no. Yeah, but I don't know if John Mouse is a bottom, though. I don't know if we can top him. <laughs> oh, no. Are I you can't. insist? I can't. Can you see me that John Mouse would top us? Oh, come on. No, no, don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Are you saying John Mouse isn't an attractive man? <laughs> I mean, according to the color eyes, he's at least very old. Just saying. Well, skill issue. <laughs> Look, I just like people around my age. I'm just saying. Und well, aren't you like a jillion years old or something? Me? No. Oh, I thought like all eldritch beings were like that. Oh, no, no, like no. A million billion years old. Oh, no, no. My thing with being eldritch is I fucked Cthulhu and now I'm part eldritch. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. That's what happened. I, fu I fucked my uh, Cthulhu waifu and it put an eldritch heart in me. <laughs> You're not into I'm older Mendoc, they say? <laughs> no, that's he. Well, I mean, are you, into well, are you into older men for a PS5? <laughs> that's the real question. <laughs> Dude, I'm a Switch player. I don't know what a PS5 even is. Ah, I see. So you're in Switch. Got it. <laughs> Jewish Exodia yeah. is pretty close to beating John Mouse. Oh, God. <laughs> we need to have a death battle. John Mouse versus Jewish Exodia. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So I think with that, we should go down the line and see what everyone's doing later this week. Uh, what, Jesus, right. what are you doing latest week? Where can people find you? Welcome oh, you on the cross. <laughs> yeah. People are always asking me to find yeah. Jesus, so where can we find you? Well, I'm usually over at my own channel of RN Jesus VTuber here on Twitch, as well as on Twitter and YouTube. And in terms of what I've got planned, well, Thursday I plan on playing more Pokemon fusions and fusing more Pokemon together. Ayo. And Friday I've got a D&D &D campaign. Ah, nice. Mission Crusaders. Is that your one that you're running? Yes, that is. Hey, nice. I think my friend Scarlet's yep. in that one. She is. Hmm. 
And um, apparently, people are really excited about how they can use Electrum there. <laughs> Electrum's a currency. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Uh, Moai, what are you doing this week? Uh, I think I am going to be playing, uh, starting a Pokemon Emerald playthrough on Ooh. Thursday. Yeah, because you were just doing uh, Blue recently, weren't you? Yeah, Pokemon Blue. I just finished that, so I think I'm going to be starting Emerald on Thursday, so that'll be exciting. What the fuck? What? what? <laughs> I was about to say, the rift is opening again. Yes. <laughs> Rash, I reveal the truth. <laughs> I'm sending this to Alara. I'm sending this to Alara. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> We're just truth seekers here. No, don't mind us. We're just truth seekers. That's all. <laughs> Speaking of, of seeking the truth, what are we doing with you later this week, uh, Lala? <laughs> Finding John Ross, I think. <laughs> I'm going on a great adventure. I never thought I'd find my call in for life here on tonight's stream, but here I am. <laughs> you just like a hurricane. <laughs> Next week, Lala is going to become a true crime YouTuber. They're going to talk all about the John Mouse yeah. crimes. <laughs> Leaving my milkshake behind, folks. And I'm picking up a pen and a pen. Ready to investigate the truth. Uh, my uh, condolences for any future uh, tuning into my streams or anything. Yes. <laughs> uh, I stream Friday to Sunday, so I got a uh, Friday I'm doing it just chatting. Today, do Yu-Gi-Oh! Gonna definitely share this wonderful new information uh, yes. and uh, try to instill the tradition that everybody got to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! on Issa and Passover now. Uh, <laughs> that's my new mission in life. If you don't, and, uh, Jewish Exodia will come for you. <laughs> it'll come, yeah. They'll come on to you. They will just, yes, come on to oh, you. No. <laughs> and uh, Sunday, I'm going to stop playing Last of Us. I haven't played it before. Oh, and, uh, so uh, I'm going to try that this Sunday. So that's kind of what I got on the horizon. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, as for me, uh, let me actually check the schedule. I keep having to remind myself because I've lost like 14 brain cells tonight. I can't believe it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what the hell? Now, nah, John Mouse took like 13 of them. <laughs> uh, let me see here. I know. Let's see. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we're doing our Pokemon Showdown community night. So bring your funny teams, bring your strong teams, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I actually need to remind myself to build a solo team for that, for Gen 9's format now. Uh, Thursday, we're going to be doing our VTuber Peanuts, more of those. Uh, you guys like yours, right? I need to do some tweaking to yours. I love right? them! Uh, let's see, and then Friday is Mario Kart Community Day. So absolute chaos, nothing compared to tonight though, apparently. Fucking, like I said, John Mouse and Jewish, Jewish Exodia have like consumed my mind now. I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> and then Saturday, we are back to playing Persona. So we'll be seeing if that that's gotten back to, to being on track. <laughs> yeah. But for now, uh, let me take a quick look through my following list and see who we're going to raid tonight. Let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow, there is so many people on right now. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's prime time right, right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who shall we spread the wisdom of John Mouse to? Yeah, first off, that is going to be our, our raid message for the night, is <laughs> John Mouse is real. But who are we going to subject to that? Uh, oh, I know who we're going to su subject to that. Uh, we're going to go to someone who's also fairly rodent-ish. Uh, let's go to Roy Zoga, shall we? Ooh. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we will All subject right. him. Everyone, oh, hashtag good. John Mouse is real. Yeah, I already got it in there. Roy. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that. It's so, poetic. There we go. Set that up. Start the raid. And we'll get ourselves onto the uh, stream ending screen. So if you guys want to say your final goodbyes for now before you're dipped in the vats of acid. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> be safe and be awesome out there. Yeah, spread the word of John Mouse. John Mouse is real. If there's anything to take away, reveal the truth. Yeah, yeah, I've been Welcome Dr. Crafty. This has been Moai, R and Jesus, and Miss Lala. You've yes. been my subjects. Good night, good night, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow for Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> Bye! Are we gone? One sec. Make sure it works. And we're on Roy's page.
did you wake two people ago?